This is Minecraft, but your health equals realism. Today, I'm going to be going from this to this. That's a lot of hearts. From a one-heart ugly Minecraft to a three-heart normal Minecraft to a 100-heart real-life Minecraft, my goal is to unlock more and more hearts through various challenges. But from the beginning, things aren't going to be going so easy. So, how hard do the challenges get? And how realistic does Minecraft get at 100 hearts? Stay tuned to find out. Everything is one pixel, what? So, as you can tell, I'm at one heart right now. And when I'm at one heart, the realism is pretty much really bad. And our goal today is to fill up the realism bar at the very top where the next realism unlock is going to be at two hearts. And once we reach the very end, apparently we unlock real life realism with a big heart. As you can tell, we have the realism tracker. So we get one bit realism, then eight bit realism, and then a question mark, question mark, question mark. Also, what is that over there? Locked until 75 hearts. I kind of only have one heart, so I can't really go there yet. And then we have this random heart temple, which says unlocked at one heart. Okay, let me get some wood and then we can maybe get a heart over there. This is actually so ugly. What the heck? I can't even see what's going on. What the heck? Okay, I think that's a pickaxe. Guys, apparently this is a wooden pickaxe. Let's get to two hearts as fast as we can. All right, we are here. And what the heck is that? Um, I guess I'll try to get to that later in the video, but okay. Okay, so unlocked to have one heart and we're at one heart. So do I just walk in here? Oh, wait, what, what is that thing? Hello? I don't think it's friendly. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Go, go away. Go away. I don't even know what's going on. There's a big white thing. Oh, I killed it. Wait, what'd I get? Bones and arrows. I honestly can't tell what's going on in my inventory except me. Very nice. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a heart temple. Do I get anything from this? Oh, it's a potion of regen five. What about this? Oh, it's also a potion. I mean, don't mind if I do. Let's go all the way down and see what exactly is inside the chest. Is there anything in here? Oh, and there we go. Okay, so we finally get our first heart, which is just going to be plus one heart. And I honestly can't tell what any of this is. So before we go back inside the chest, let's go ahead and upgrade our realism. And there we go. Realism increase. Keep earning hearts to increase. So pretty much how this works, guys, is that the game masters gave me a bunch of texture packs to use and we're going to be going from two hearts to four hearts to ten hearts all the way down to 9,999 hearts and my PC's already going to get loud at five hearts. Anyways though, I was at one heart which says it's so ugly, which it, it was decent, but now we can go ahead and upgrade to two hearts, eight pixels. So without further ado, let's continue to get some hearts. And yes, the realism is actually not that bad anymore. Okay, so realism upgraded and the next thing we got to get is three hearts. Okay, so now we can actually tell what's inside of here rotten flesh. Why are there little like food things? Uh, gold ingots, not bad. Iron ingots and a golden apple. Not bad. Okay. What's in this chest then? Why is that so HD? I already know what it is, but why did they put that in here? Anyways, you guys already know the deal. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right. What about this chest? I gotta say the special items definitely stand out when we're at eight pixels, but in this chest, we find a heart recipes book. Nice. Okay. So wait, what is this dude? Do I just right click it? You have learned new heart recipes. Wait. So if I make a crafting table, does that mean we have a bunch of new crafts? Oh, and look at that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna guess with the hearts, we can craft all these brand new items right here, like a heart pickaxe, which is gonna be two iron ingots and three hearts. Okay, let's try to get enough hearts so we can make the heart pickaxe. And finally, we have one last chest and wait, that doesn't look right. An 8-bit pickaxe. I mean, we're at an 8-bit texture pack right now. Why not? And let's go up. And now that we have two hearts, brand new goal, get three hearts because Minecraft is still very ugly. Oh, wait, I just realized I got a heart beam. Channels the power of friendship. Oh, it's like a little heart laser. Nice. Oh, wait, do I have to shoot this at something? Why does the sheep look like that? Um, all right. This is for science purposes. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's so weird looking. A heart sheep. Wait, what happens if I kill you? Oh, and we get a heart. Um, okay, so that does make sense. Okay, so with the heart laser, we can make things into heart versions. Like, for example, this cow over there. It's now a heart cow. Anyways, before we eat the heart and upgrade the realism one more time, what about a villager? Oh, a heart villager. Why does he look like that? Wait, do you trade anything? Six diamonds for one heart. Six iron ingots for one heart. My man is scamming. Anyways, with that being done, let's go ahead and one heart. Realism increased yet again. Things are ramping up. Why not try looking for hearts in the caves? So now we get three hearts. 16x with a twist. Okay. Oh, wait. It looks like normal Minecraft, right? Ow. Um, the blocks are made out of blocks. Look at the bed. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, so this is three hearts realism and it said look at the cave. So let's get to a cave real quick. Okay, I think this looks like a good cave. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so I can definitely tell that's the heart ore. So do I just mine that? Oh, two heart ore. Oh, and three hard ore. Literally, there's so much hard ore. Okay, so yet again, we got another heart. Let's go up in realism. Realism upgraded yet again. Realism increase. Keep mining those ores. Oh, I just got to keep mining. Okay. 
Oh, wait, guys. At four hearts, realism begins. I guess here goes nothing. Oh, okay. Wait, let me go up real quick. Oh, now that we have four hearts, things are ramping up really quickly. Anyways, I was told to mine another heart, so I guess let's just keep mining. Wait, what? The ore had an evil heart? Careful. Red heart, trying to take my heart. I won't allow it. No, no, no. B buddy, calm down. I'm only at four hearts right now. Let's get rid of you real quick. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Why, why do you have bones? He sounds like he's very bony. And there we go. So just like that, we get another horror. And I'm going to guess that was the event at the progression bar at the top. Very interesting. So we can either get good stuff or bad stuff. But either way, we did get five hearts. And I mean, why not? Let's go ahead and eat another heart and up the realism one more time. Hey, there we go. Realism upgraded. Realism increased. Sacrificial heart craft unlocked. Okay, before we get to that, the next one is going to be PC might get loud. That's a little bit concerning, but I'll take it. Guys, Minecraft is uh ramping up really quickly. Wait, okay, okay. Put a pause on everything. What is that? This looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think this is only 64X. This is amazing. Anyways, things definitely are getting more realistic at five hearts. And the next goal is to get to 10 hearts. But one thing the chat messaged was sacrificial heart craft unlocked. Did we get a new craft? Oh, okay. There it is. The sacrificial heart. Call those worthy of hearts. Oh, and to make it, we need one gold nugget, which we can get, and eight hearts. I mean, we already have four, but I guess we might as well start crafting some heart stuff. So real quick, let's get some more hearts in the caves, and then I guess make this thing. I gotta say, though, our Minecraft is looking really nice right now. Like, what the heck? Back in the caves we go. I gotta say, it kind of looks funny seeing the heart ore not look anything like the realistic stuff, but I mean, I'll take it. Anyways, now that we have everything, let's go ahead and get one gold nugget and eight hearts, and there we go. Sacrificial heart. Might as well place it down right here in the realistic grass, and let's see. Wait, fill the heart with souls. Don't tell me we're sacrificing people again. Sacrifice for YouTubers or friends for the hearts you need. Oh, no. So yet again, it wouldn't be an Exostorio video without having to sacrifice people. So with that being said, let me real quick get some friends on the server. All right, Nesta. Hello. What do you want, mate? I'm on. Billy! Welcome, welcome. Okay, okay, okay. This time, no funny business. We're, we'll make it quick, okay? Just go up to that thing right there. That little heart. As you can see, we're in uh, Realism Minecraft. Yeah. And right-click it. And that, that's it. Fine. Fair enough. That won't take too long, all right? Oh, yeah. This doesn't feel... What is happening? Hey, and yeah! Okay. And there he goes. It looks like he counted for three souls. Don't know how that works, but I guess we only need one more now. All right. I know the person. Crafty, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, Nestor? How Welcome. you doing? Welcome. Yeah, thank you for doing this. I know you're doing your Minecraft challenges and everything, but if you follow me over here and you see that heart over there, yes. all I need you to do is right-click it. You're the heart man. You got this, man, okay? Okay. I right-click you. Oh. Ooh, very... Ah! Thank you, buddy. Rest in peace. Uh, you know, he'll be back to his challenges. Okay. Anyways, with that being done, we ended up getting some hearts from the YouTuber heart thing, but they're just normal hearts. That was a scam. Anyways, we got to get to 10 hearts. So let's go ahead and eat these hearts and see what happens next. I'm going to go ahead and munch on them. There we go. Or wait, should I maybe craft something with these before anything? Okay, I could at least make the pickaxe and still keep one heart. Let's do that. Okay. And just like that, we get finally our first heart item. The heart pickaxe. Melt ore with the warmth of my heart. Um, okay. What does the heart pickaxe do? Oh, it's like a little pickaxe thing. Nice. Okay. That actually is really convenient because now we can get the heart ore real quick. Oh, we're in a cave. Oh, this is a big cave. Okay. Um, let's real quick get all the heart ore we can and maybe make some more heart items. Okay. So we have six hearts now, which I still got to eat one, but I'm also curious. Okay. We can't make the ultimate trident, but we can make a heart axe. Why not? Heart axe. Let's go ahead and do that. We got the heart axe, which makes your heart feel stronger. And we're not done there because we can also make a heart dagger. So let's see what these guys do. So what does this thing do? Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's a circle of hearts. Oh, look at them go. Okay, this is for science purposes. What does this do? Everything's breaking. Oh, literally the heart axe is a super axe. Not bad at all. And now the last thing we got was the heart dagger. Oh, wait, and it gives us potion effects. Saturation three, invisibility three, and speed two. Does it do anything else? Should I hit something with this? Hello, Mr. Cow? Oh, it makes things into heart versions. Nice. But I guess 
it might finally be time to go ahead and eat our next heart. So without further ado, let's get to 10 hearts. And just like that, realism upgraded, realism increased. Things are starting to get realistic. Here's a heart rate to help you make crafts. Now we have a heart beat, a pulsing sensation. And also because we're at 10 hearts, we can go ahead and get the 10 heart pack, which is now 256 X. Oh, wow. That is very pretty. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. We are definitely going up in realism, but we got a heart beat. What does this do? Did I just right click? Wait, I just heard something. Does it do something under me? Well, let's go down real quick. Wait, what, what, what is going on? Okay. Um, apparently the heartbeat also has an x-ray ability. Oh, that is amazing. Holy. Okay. My computer's getting louder, guys. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. We have literally ray tracing up there, but on the bright side, we can get a lot of hearts now, which for the next one, I'm going to be needing to get 20 hearts. Well, I guess let's get closer to the next event. Oh, and there goes my computer. Okay. So before we go any deeper, let me check if we can make anything else. Oh, wait, a heart multi-tool. I kind of want to make that. Multi-tools are known for being really good. And an infinite heart steak. Oh, and also a heart bow. So even though I said heart a lot of times there, let's go ahead and get some more hearts. And I wonder, actually, hey, there we go. Okay, that's a quick way of doing that. Very nice. Okay, we should have everything we need now. So let's go ahead and get three hearts, three string. And there we go. Okay, a heart bow, property of Cupid. Oh, I don't even need an arrow. Do I just right-click this? Oh, it breaks blocks. Oh, that's sick. Very nice. And the next item we can go ahead and make is the heart multi-tool. So I actually have two iron exactly. So let's go to get that. And so what does this multi-tool give us? So did I just mine with it? What does it do? Wait, what? Okay. It mined an entire chunk. Very nice multi-tool. I don't think I take fall damage when I use it though. Very nice. Okay. So while I'm down here, let's go ahead and grab all the iron we can get and also some gold. So don't mind if I do. And the only thing we got to make now is some steak. So let's go up. Go. You're out of here. Raw beef. And now we cook it. Okay. So I think it was one steak and one heart. Oh, and there we go. Okay. An infinite heart steak. I can't eat it just yet, but all that's left to do now is just to eat every single heart that we can and really see what happens realism wise at 20 hearts. We're at 17 and a lot of this other stuff requires like rainbow hearts and all that good stuff. We don't actually have any of that. So to get all this stuff, we're going to have to probably grind some more. Okay. Let's go back in the caves. Okay. So I need, I think three more hearts. Oh, and there we go. Three hearts. That was actually really quickly. And hey, there we go. Realism upgraded yet again. Realism increase heart of the channel craft unlocked. So before we get to that, now we get to 20 hearts. Photo realism. Oh gosh, computer, please survive. Oh yeah, that's nice. Wait, is that literal rocks? It's literally photorealistic. It's a photo of real rocks. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so with that tier, apparently we unlocked a brand new craft, which let's go back up real quick. Oh man, look at those trees. Even the grass. Anyways, like I was saying though, we apparently unlocked a new craft, which is heart of the channel. And it's also my logo. Wait, connect me and my viewers. Are my viewers coming into the video? Like you guys watching this right now? Um, okay. And we yet again need a lot of hearts. We need six hearts in total this time, but it shouldn't be too difficult because we can just go ahead and do that. And no, I broke the hearts. Okay. Easiest way, probably multi-tool. Break out the entire area. Oh, and water. Nice. I lost the multi-tool, didn't I? No, the multi-tool. On the bright side, we did get some hearts. I still don't know why I'm using this pickaxe right here. I just don't want to cause chaos. So I use the weaker one. Oh, six hearts. Nice. Okay. And so with the six hearts, we make another heart and that makes the heart of the channel. So is this like a custom heart or does something else happen? Connect to you and your viewers. Uh, maybe I should do this up there. Okay, so do I just eat this? For 20 hearts, sacrifice 20 fans. Why are we still sacrificing people? Okay, I guess. So apparently I need 20 fans to be sacrificed or something? Anyways, there's only one way we can get some fans and that's from my Discord at discord.gg slash xstorio. So let's, I guess, send out a message. Okay, I invited some people. Do I now just do whitelist off? Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, here they come. Oh, okay, they're here. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let's, let's, let's get this out of the way. Let's just turn these guys into hearts and get it done with. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, no, we have one last one. Bruno Gamer, I'm so sorry. Um, There, there they go. I think that was all of them. Oh, never mind. We have another one right over here. And there he goes. Okay, nice. Did the floating heart become a heart golem? Okay, do I just right-click you? Wait, why is he looking down? You okay, buddy? It looks so sad. 
Oh, oh, what, what's up, man? Oh, so I just right click him and he says, thanks for the hearts. I have unlocked the lovely recipe book for you. Oh, wait, what are these hearts? Golden hearts. Our next goal is 50 hearts. So does this give me more than normal? That's going to be 10 extra hearts. Not more realism just yet, but let's go ahead and eat both. And now we have 40. Wait, so we also unlocked something else and that's going to be the lovely recipe book. Oh, and I can craft it. Oh, that's easy. Might as well go ahead and make it. Okay, do I just right click this? And just like that, more crafts unlocked. Holy, that's a lot more stuff. So now we have what looks like to be heart armor, a heart sword, a heart nade, a super heart pickaxe, which is actually extremely good. Okay, so now that we know that, how about instead of going straight to 50 hearts, guys, let's real quick go back down caving, get some more hearts, and at the same time, hopefully make a full set of heart armor. I think that might be the best idea. So uh, real quick, watch this. Hey, there we go. Oh, and I can also get the heartbeat. And what if we do this? Oh, look at that. Yep, that is amazing. Don't mind me though. We're gonna get all the hearts we can. And we're also getting pretty close to 75 hearts, which if you guys do remember, that's apparently when we unlock the heart dimension. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make our first armor piece. And that's gonna be pretty easily with five hearts, three iron ingots. And just like that, we get a heart chest plate. And might as well, why not? Let's also make the heart helmet. So heart helmet. Oh, okay. So with these two pieces, we get five extra hearts. So I think once we get the full set, we should have enough for the 50 heart goal. So back to caving and let's mine all these hearts. Okay, I think we have enough to last us a long time. Let's go ahead and make the boots. And finally, good old heart leggings. Let's get that made. And that should complete the entire heart set, I think. Okay, heart boots and heart leggings. Oh, and we're one heart off. Maybe instead of eating one heart, let me double check if there's anything else I can make. I could make the super heart pickaxe, I guess. Um, That requires two iron blocks, though. So let's go ahead and get those. And there we go. Super heart pickaxe. Nothing can stop your heart. So this is the normal heart pickaxe. Very nice. What about the super heart? pickaxe. Oh, it's pretty big. What about right click? Oh my. Is that like wither heart things? That's insane. Very nice. Okay. And without further ado, guys, I think it's finally time. Let's go ahead and eat our 50th heart. And yet again, realism upgraded and we now unlocked a heart parkour. Be careful. Well, before we get to that, we also now can get the 50 hearts texture pack, which is 512 X. Oh, oh, well, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Our hearts are even hearts anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is very nice. Anyways, we ended up unlocking a brand new thing, and that's the heart parkour, which is literally a staircase of hearts, and it's a parkour. I mean, okay, why not? The good thing is that we still have our 8-bit pickaxe when everything's HD, and there's a lot of heart ore on this area, so let's go ahead and grab all this. Oh man, everything is just like really, really cool. All right, got all the hearts we needed. Let's go ahead and make the staircase, and just like that, a heart parkour. What's this gonna be? Do I just throw it down here? Oh, wait, what? Wait. Reach then. Don't fall. Oh! Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, this is not good. I don't have a water bucket, and I'm not sure if I can reach that water. <gasps> oh, okay. It's gonna take a little bit of training, but we got this. Oh! <gasps> Oh gosh, okay, my heart, my heart. Loki, I could just build, but I want to do it for the challenge because I feel like I'm cheating the system if I don't. Oh gosh, okay, we made it. Are we going into the heart portal now? Oh wait, locked until 75 hearts. So I guess we can't go inside just yet, but we did get another golden heart yet again. So that's going to make us go to 60 hearts. And the next goal is to get to 75. So that's going to be 60 hearts. And wait, what are these? Heart elytra. Do I just put this on? Oh, that's sick. Okay, so we have an elytra now. I guess that's how we pretty much get away from that. But my new goal is let's get to 75 hearts then get inside that portal, check out the heart dimension, and also with this elytra later on, I think we might be able to go up there finally. So, without further ado, let's real quick get the crafting table out again. So, we got the heart nade, which I kind of want to make, and also the heart sword, which I haven't made yet. Let's make that, why not? Heart sword keeps your heart safe. So, what does this do exactly? Oh, it has little hearts around me! Oh, that's sick! Oh, wait, is this gonna defend me against stuff? That's amazing. Very nice. Okay, let's get some more hearts, and probably the easiest way of getting hearts is going down caving yet again. So, super hard pickaxe, all the way down. Oh, my legs. Okay, give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna get more hearts. Why does it look like that? Oh, it blinked at me. Okay, I don't know if I'm seeing things. Anyways, I think we have enough hearts for the next thing. Let's real quick actually put on the chest plate again so we get all the hearts we need. And I think with eating all these right here, this should give us enough hearts for the next level. So once we hit 75, we should be good. Okay, final heart and... Hey, there we go. Realism upgraded. Realism increased. Things are getting very HD. 
Heart Portal Craft Unlocked. Okay, so before anything, let's real quick go to 75 hearts now. The real world. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's real grass. We are touching grass and what the heck? Well, one thing we ended up unlocking with that was apparently the heart portal. Is this it? Eight obsidian and one heart. Okay, we can definitely do that, I guess. Let's go find a lava pool real quick and then I guess do that. All right, guys, I think it's finally time. We got the obsidian. It looks very nice. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. And you guys already know me, the fast obsidian miner. Let's get that done instantly. And I'm um, venting obsidian. Okay, let's go to the top and make this portal. Okay, so one heart and oh, and there we go. Heart portal. No assembly required. I guess I'll throw it right there. Oh, that's sick. Guys, I think it's time. Let's go. Heart dimension. What realism awaits? Holy. Is that gold? Oh, this looks good. Welcome to the heart dimension, I guess. Okay, we have a little bit of a parkour to do. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be a bit careful. This one's confusing me, guys. My, my brain is like overheating. Okay, the very special gold blocks. Where is this even leading me? Are we going like to a castle thing? This looks nice. Anyone home? Hello? Queen of hearts. How did you find this dimension? I'll make you return to your world. Oh, okay. It's a boss fight, apparently. All right. Well, what's up, Queen of Arts? Oh, my. Wait, she does so much damage. Go on, Bo. Do your thing. Oh, we made it fall. Okay, she's stuck. Sorry, Queen. There goes the Queen. And also, she has a little bit of guards. Let's get rid of these guys, too, real quick. Let's go down real quick. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, we got to get rid of all these guys. Nope, nope, nope. None of that. None of that. Okay. Oh, and that's a brand new ore right there. What? Okay, so from the Queen, we ended up getting a realistic crown with 15 health. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Two golden hearts with plus 10 health and heart milk plus three health. Wait, let me drink the heart milk. What does this do? It literally just gives you three health. Nice. And I guess why not? Let's put on the realistic crown. Holy. Oh, and there we go. Realism upgraded yet again. Realism increase. Oh, wait, we hit 100 hearts. Getting close to the second to final realism at 1,000 hearts. One of your hearts has transformed. Oh, wait, what? Golden corrupted heart. The heart of evil. Wait, what does this do then? Wait, we also got golden hearts, which are plus 10 hearts. We might as well eat those. Why not? Let's go up real quick. And now we have 120 hearts. Very nice. Also, this place looks amazing. But one thing we could change real quick is actually, now that we're at 99 hearts, we can do the 1024x version. Oh, I think this is a thousand pixels Minecraft. Oh, wow. This place is insane. Okay, so what the heck is this place? Is there anything around there? Oh, there's a little bit more of that or over there. I haven't mined it just yet. Let's go ahead and see what exactly this thing is. Okay, rainbow heart or and it's literally just a rainbow heart. What does it do? Plus 100 hearts. Wait, can I craft anything with this? Oh, wait. I think with the rainbow heart, we can finally go ahead and make the ultimate sword. Can my heart handle this? And a heartful golden apple. Okay, I have a good idea. We're going to go steal some golden blocks and get a golden apple and get plus 200 hearts because the next goal is 1,000. So we might as well do it some way. So easy way is to just quickly mine that and give me that gold block, get some gold ingots. And now let's go ahead and find some more ore like that one right there. Or actually, I'm kind of curious. What happens if I eat 100 right now? Oh my, that's so many. I guess I'll just keep grabbing these. I literally got every single heart I could. So we now have 2,000 hearts in our inventory. Just saying. The first thing we're going to be going ahead and making is the ultimate sword. So what does this thing do? Oh, that's insane. Oh, look, it's a rainbow thing. Very nice. So with that sword being done, now let's make the apple. All right, here we go. Heartful golden apple. What does it do? Oh, yep. Yep, that, that is that is double of 200. Guys, my screen is getting covered way too much. Okay, so we're getting closer to the 1,000 hearts, but we still need a lot of hearts. So we have 400. This is for more. How exactly do I get out of here, though? Maybe in the Heaven's Gate area? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Apparently, Heaven's Gate sends you back. Okay. Is this going to be enough for 1,000 hearts? I don't think it will. We're only at 400. Okay, are there any other ways I can get hearts? So because we have the heart elytra, we have that one thing in the sky from earlier. What if we can go up? there now. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay. We just got to go up there and then maybe we can get the last hearts we need. Also on the way, guys, I realized I never actually tested out this golden corrupted heart. I'm not really sure what it is or what it does, but wait, there's an elytra thing at the top. What the heck are we going to be doing up here? It's just an elytra. Okay, can I right click it or? Oh, wait, I think I got to give it my elytra. That's a little bit sketch though, because I can't go down. Okay. Oh, wait, what the heck? 
Okay, they do so much damage. Okay, ultimate sword. Guys, I think I just killed them in one hit. What just happened? So from that, we get a corrupted heart, which doesn't do anything when I right click it. Okay, that's uh, interesting. A realism heart elytra. Let your heart lift you up. Oh, that's kind of sick. And oh my gosh, eight rainbow hearts. That's really good. Okay, let's go down real quick with the new elytra, which actually I think is a lot faster than usual. And before we do the final rainbow hearts, we have uh, one more thing to do, and that's the golden corrupted heart or whatever this thing is. Do I just like right click it? More of these guys. Why? Okay, right click. Let's get these guys out of the way. And they're gone. And yet again, even more rainbow hearts. I like that a lot. So now we have 10 rainbow hearts. So that is 1,000 extra hearts, guys. So without further ado, let's see what this takes us with not only hearts, but with also realism. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's taking up the screen. 800, 900. Guys, it's off the screen. And there we go. Realism upgraded. Congratulations on hitting 1,000 hearts. The final boss awaits. Can I hit infinity hearts? Wait, did, did I get anything? Is it in my inventory? Oh, and there it is. The heart of the end. Um, is this going to TP me away? Oh, guys, I'm so sorry that you guys can't really see the screen. But before we right click this, oh, wait, where'd my hearts go? Oh, wait, I think that's also still 1,000 hearts. Anyways, before we continue, we have one more thing to do, and that's now 999 hearts, 2,048 pixel Minecraft. Rest in peace, PC. Here we go. Holy. Yeah, this is 2,048 X pixels, guys. Look at the grass and the sand. It literally merges. That is amazing. Well, guys, all that's left now to do is heart of the end. And wait, what would I just do with that thing? Ow, stronghold. Very nice. Let's go inside. And um, I guess now, because we got a portable stronghold, what's left to do is actually just go inside. Okay, wait, there's little guards for these guys. Let's get rid of you. And oh, wait, they drop eyes of Ender. Oh, that's a lot of them. Um, Can I just do this? Oh my gosh. Well, that's one way of getting eyes of Ender. And also we got wither skeleton schools. Anyway, so that's gonna be six eyes of Ender. Don't mind if I do. I think that should be enough. And let's just get out of here and finally get to the final dimension. So let's go in. Oh, and we're in, guys. What exactly are we doing? Wait, what? Summon the wither? Ow. Am I fighting a wither for the final part? Oh, wait, I have an elytra. Oh, I think this might be it, guys. Final boss time. Let's put in the three skulls. One, two. Ultimate challenge. Wait, what's going on? Here can only be one ultra realistic vision, and this is going to be me. It's literally a wither with me. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh I, I killed it in five hits, guys. This sword is way too good. What just happened? That was a fever dream of a battle. So we got a realistic heart and realism glasses. Okay, let me eat the realistic heart, I guess first. Hey, okay, so that's pretty much the end of the challenge, guys. So with that being done, guys, that is gonna be it for Minecraft, but my health equals realism. And to end it all off, let's go on to the final realism tier, which is gonna be 9,999 hearts. So let's put these on and here we go. Oh man, okay, yeah, this is definitely the real world. This is Minecraft, but it gets more realistic. Today, Minecraft is gonna be going from looking like this to literally this. Oh man, good luck to my computer. How this works is that every achievement, I'll be getting a realism upgrade where by the end of the video, Minecraft is gonna be way too realistic. So, can my computer survive? Stay tuned to find out. Well, here we go with the challenge and what? Okay, so I was told to download a bit of mods and it looks like Minecraft is getting more and more realistic today. And I was told that something happens when I get an achievement. So I guess I need some cobblestone. Why not? Let's get some of that. Oh my gosh. Oh, realism unlocked. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, okay. So it looks like we may be getting a more and more realistic Minecraft already. Wait, oh my gosh, the grass is moving. What the heck is going on? Okay, and I guess because we got our stuff, why not? Let's go ahead and grab that. Got my stone pickaxe. And oh, realism unlocked yet again. And oh my gosh, wait, look at our hot bar. Are we gonna be thirsty now? Okay, it might become nighttime soon. So let's get down quick. And those are some cool looking trees. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, I think an achievement is getting iron. So let me fight you real quick. Don't, don't kill me, please, please please, please. I only have one life and also I am thirsty now. I am not trying to lose thirst. Oh my gosh. What the heck? He looks like a watermelon. Right. So when I grab this iron, technically I'm supposed to get another achievement. So here goes nothing. Realism unlocked, acquiring hardware. And what happens now? Well, we got the iron and I guess we can do some more crafting. Oh, let's real quick craft something and um, that's not normal. Wait, what the heck? It literally follows me around. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Wait, is it becoming nighttime soon? Oh, okay. I can't tell if the sun's going up or down. And also, are those crows? What? Um, I... 
think something may have happened here. If you made this far in the video, comment down below. Realistic cow, because realistic cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I'm just going to get my food and just keep going. I mean, we got six raw beef, I guess. And those guys are a little bit too realistic. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'll let you do you, my man. Okay. Have a great day, man. Is that a new mob? Wait, is that a cat? I can't even tell what that is. Oh, and there's fireflies. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, if it's that realistic right now, I should probably head down because when it gets nighttime, it's probably going to get a lot harder. Also, you are terrifying. That is a realistic chicken. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Wait, what is that over there? Um, guys, I think cold weather was added to the realism because now we have cold breath and footsteps, but we're also in a brand new actual giant mountain biome. I guess we'll explore this later in the video, but I really need to get caving because it's going to become nighttime soon. Wait, what, what, what is going on? Um, guys, uh, th this is not good. Right, we're gonna go caving now. I am not dealing with lightning and bunch of snow. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need torches and- Oh, wow, okay, uh, gotta be careful about that one. Oh, wait, we just mined to the surface. That's actually really powerful. Holy, <laughs> mining has a lot of power right now. And from that, we have six iron. I hear water right now. Where is that water? Low-key, I'm probably gonna be thirsty very soon, and it's so hard to mine with all this stuff right now. Oh, we found the water. That is some very beautiful water water. Oh my gosh. I gotta make some torches though. Let's real quick. I haven't done this in a long time because I usually use full right, but um, wait, realistic torch? What is a realistic torch? Wait, how do I use a realistic torch? What is this? Okay, so I figured it out. We actually need a new item called a matchbox, and with the matchbox, we make a realistic torch, and I guess with the realistic torch, we now have light, which can kind of be really tedious, but on the bright side, 18 torches, I'll take it, and I'm gonna guess that these get unlit after a while, so let's get our iron and uh, now I need another achievement. So what do I do now? I guess the next thing I could do is maybe make an iron chest plate. But do I really want to do this? Oh, wait, I can't make an iron chest plate. Wait, what about like a... Uh boots? Would this work? Here goes nothing. Things might get a little bit crazier, so uh, stay tuned, because I don't know if my computer can handle much more. Oh, there we go. Another realistic upgrade, and we get suit up. Okay, what's different, though? Why is my camera like that? Okay, it's getting really realistic right now. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get used to this. This is kind of weird, but I guess we'll go with it for now. Sure. Oh, uh, skeleton, we should probably not fight this, but what's the worst that could happen? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, did I just get red damage on my screen? Oh, I completely forgot that was an achievement too so yet again realism upgraded so we get the good camera now it looks like my thirst just went away wait and i'm wondering what was added now so far everything looks pretty normal besides like the camera which is uh definitely new and my computer isn't dead just yet so i guess let's go deeper into the caves now holy this cave is giant also what the heck is that stuff over there is that lava right let's go down in here and Oh, wow. Diamonds. Literally diamonds already. Okay. Okay, there we go. Four diamonds, and it looks like it gets more foggy as we go deeper. Let's get all the way back up so we can actually see where we are. Holy, this place is insane, and no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, wait, what the heck is this thing? Oh, my screen's going red. Okay. Um, no string, and that was low-key terrifying. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Please stay away. Guys, guys, please, 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 please. My screen is getting more red every time I take damage. Also, my computer is starting to get loud. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, please, game. I am uh, trying my best right now. Oh my gosh, why are there so many skeletons? I'm gonna get the string. Let's go the other way. It kind of makes sense that as it's getting more realistic, it's definitely getting a lot more harder. And, uh, wait, is that a normal zombie? Okay, it's completely normal zombie. We're fine there. As long as I don't get another achievement very soon, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Also, what is that stuff? It's coming from the lava. Okay, so I think the next achievement that we can maybe get is actually getting maybe lava. So I guess let's go ahead and get some more iron real quick. And I'm not really sure what to expect after this one. All right, so let's make a bucket real quick. I think we may have found a good spot. My computer is definitely already taking a hit. If you guys have a better title for this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, but I think this might be it, so let's get the lava bucket. And just like that, another achievement and another realistic upgrade. And oh, um, wait, what the heck is this? I'll go away. What is going on? Oh my God. Okay, it looks like the shaders got even better this time. And, um, that, that is terrifying. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. Okay, why is that stun me? What is going on right now? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get those arrows real quick. 
and it definitely looks like we got another realistic upgrade. We also got some gold right here, which I'll go ahead and grab, but oh my gosh, my computer is getting louder and louder, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys could run this on your computers, because it's definitely getting crazier and crazier. Oh my gosh. Okay, we do need some lapis for some enchantments, and I kind of forgot that everything falls on top of me. That is kind of crazy. All right, let's grab that real quick, and what we need right now is diamonds, and that there's diamonds right there. Okay, right. And since we got diamonds right here, let's go to mine them real quick, and I guess yet again, get another achievement. Is this a Ave? No! We just lost all the diamonds! Okay, right. That could have been very bad, very quickly. I guess let's try to find some diamonds again. That was actually really tragic. Also, oh, there's bubbles in the water. That is so cool. Also, a creeper. Creeper looks pretty normal, and also some diamonds right over there. Not bad. All right, creeper. No, 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 no. Whoa, that was actually kind of cool. Nice. Oh, wait, two veins of diamonds. Not bad. All right, well, gonna go ahead and make a diamond sword. Why not? And why not? Let's also make a diamond helmet, because... <gasps> Wait, plus 1.8 stun armor and plus nine. Wait, wait. So stuff is getting heavier too, but I guess why not? Let's go ahead and get this diamond armor. And this might actually give me another achievement, which should be, oh, there we go. Yet again, another realistic upgrade. And we got cover me with diamonds. And it definitely looks like Minecraft got slightly more HD. Now we have, it looks like a 32X texture pack. Oh gosh. Okay. I got to take care of you. Okay. My man, my man, please don't shoot me. Okay. Thank you very much. I will take all your uh, bones, all that good stuff. I guess we got diamond armor now. Not bad. Wait, are we slower now because we have more weight? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, let's cook up all the iron we have right now and maybe start getting ready to go to the nether because I'm kind of curious how crazy it's going to be in there realistic wise. It might also be very dark. I'm kind of curious. That's a lot of diamonds. Never mind. We don't need iron. We are getting a lot of diamonds very easily. Don't mind if I do. Gonna grab all that and there might actually be a lot more diamonds in this cave. Instead of going for full iron, we could maybe just go for full diamond. Why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and get some diamond boots. There we go. And I should probably make some more torches when I can, but I guess we can do that a little bit later. My computer is definitely not liking this video right now. Also, what the heck? That's a lot of creepers. Let's real quick uh, let you explode. <laughs> okay, that is a beautiful what the heck. Okay, diamonds, where are you? Yeah, yeah, I need the blue stuff before I go to the nether. How many frames am I getting right now? Guys, I'm getting 30 frames. I just realized my computer is getting very loud and this is insane right now. This is definitely the laggiest video I'm ever uploading. But just a reminder, keep watching because by the end of the video, oh, I hopefully I'm not dead. I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be looking very, very nice. So stay tuned for that. Whoa, there's like a purple light from the spawner. That's so cool. And we can get a bow. Okay, let's grab this real quick because I haven't shot a bow yet in realistic Minecraft and uh, this is so cool right now. Sound of water is also really nice. I haven't been in a mine shaft yet, so are the mine shafts any different? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, my computer is taking a hit, guys. Rest in peace, Exostorio computer 2021 because uh, it's, it's done today. 11 diamonds, actually. Might as well make a diamond just for you right now. We haven't gotten another achievement in a bit, which I'm gonna probably get the next one once I enter the nether. So before we do that, actually, we might be able to get another achievement right now with the bow. Wait, okay, so make a quick bow and wait, what the heck? My movement's so weird. Wait, look at that. When I aim, I have like a little laser for where I'm gonna shoot. That's so cool. Right, so maybe I can take aim with this. Oh, and there we go. Yet again, another realistic upgrade, but I'm not really sure what it's gonna be this time. Let's finish going zombie real quick and okay, that, that, that is crazy crazy right now. I'm really liking how this Minecraft looks so far. Oh, and there goes the pollution it looks like. Let's mine a little bit of redstone and it looks like another spider. Oh, the spider doesn't look uh, a bit too scary anymore. Okay, was maybe that realistic upgrade with the bow? I'm not really sure. Okay, so I can't really think of any other achievements that we can do now that we did the bow one. And what we could do now, I guess, is actually just go to the nether. We do have enough armor. I could go for some diamond leggings, so maybe let's get some diamonds real quick and then go to the nether and really see what realistic upgrade we get there. So literally found diamonds like five seconds after saying that, so don't mind if I do. Let me grab that. Hopefully, we don't fall in lava again and lose the diamonds, which uh, we definitely didn't. And I think it's just the pantalones that we're missing. Oh, uh, yep. There we go. All right. Full diamond. Not bad. And wait, what the heck? Wait, watch this. Oh, that's so weird. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Okay. These realistic upgrades right now are so crazy. Okay. So the one thing that never changes between realism and normal Minecraft is the number one real thing is that the, I'm the fastest obsidian miner in Minecraft. Watch this. Like, come on. It, it never fails, guys. Literally the fastest. And now we got to mine all this obsidian. And wait, what? What is shooting me? Oh my gosh, that literally made me jump in my chair. Holy, why are you guys so realistic? That is terrifying. Wait, how do I look when I'm mining? Oh, that's so cool. What the heck? I'm on one knee. Right, let's make this portal. Oh my gosh, wait. The way my game looks also changed. Wait, the 
ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. I'm gonna guess that's why the way my game looks changed and we're in the nether now. What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Wait, so to get back to the overworld, I just gotta go inside of there. Oh my gosh, it's the cave. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, uh, I should probably do some trades with you. Uh, uh, my man, I don't have that much gold right now. I'll get some gold for you later. Please don't tag me. I I'll be back later, right? Okay, no, no, these guys are not happy. Okay, right. So we're in the nether now and what we gotta do is, wait, whoa, 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 what is that fire? Okay, we need to get out of here. What we need to do now though is uh, find a fortress and is that a fortress over there or is that a bastion? Oh, that's a bastion. Interesting. Okay, right. Well, should I enter this bastion? Probably not. I could get some netherite, but it might be a better idea if we find a fortress instead. Oh gosh. Okay, let's be double careful. There is a lot of fire coming from the sky and uh, this place looks very realistic, but actually I'm kind of tempted guys. I think I'm going to go inside the bastion. I see a chest right there. We could get some netherite right away and this might actually be an achievement. Oh, there we go. Realism upgraded yet again. And honestly, I have no idea what this one is going to do. Hopefully it doesn't kill me though. Guys, 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 we can talk this out. Please guys, I'm just going to get the chest. We don't know what's inside that chest. And actually, wait, what happens if I do this? <gasps> okay, okay. No, 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 never do that again. Nope, nope, no, nope. What's up guys? All right, all right, all right. Look, 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 look. Physics is a thing in Minecraft right now and it's definitely trying to kill me. Let's go to this chest. Save grab these new blocks and oh yet again a realism unlocked because we just got war pigs and we also found some ancient debris and again again a realism upgraded yet again hidden in the depths and visually nothing has changed but oh skill book roll can i read this oh roll toward the direction the player moves while executing the skill player becomes immune from normal attacks oh i learned it how do i roll though oh i did it oh that's so cool what the heck oh no 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 guys 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 Please, 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 please. No, why do I get slowness effect when I fall? That is not fair, Nether. Also, there, there's guys shooting at me. This is not a good time. Why? Whatever happens to Minecraft when I get really OP stuff? Th this is just very difficult. Okay, Gast, where are you? I got a bow and it's a realistic bow. Let's get you out of here. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay. What we gotta do though is, uh, can we get a little bit more of that ancient debris? Because we actually did get some good stuff here. Or is this the very top? Oh, hello, Enderman. Oh, no, no, no. Oh gosh, I angered it, didn't I? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Why does it move like that? Hello. Oh, why are you kicking me? Oh my gosh. This guy's violent. Okay. You should be dead by now. There we go. Did you guys just see that Enderman kick me? What the heck? I am genuinely surprised I did not die there. Before we do anything else, let's real quick make a shield and run with the shield. All right. There we go. Oh man. Well, on the bright side, we did get one Ender Pearl. But before we get some more from trading, let's go find a fortress real quick. Oh, we found one, guys. Okay. This might be another achievement just now. Now, so real quick. Oh, there we go. Realism upgraded yet again. And now we got a terrible fortress. What do we get from here now? Okay, that's a normal blaze for now. Let's go ahead and get our first blaze rod. Don't let the big bin. I'm not really sure what realism upgrade I got there, but I guess we can find out in a bit. Okay, let's find the blaze spotter now. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, yet again, achievement unlocked. Oh, shiny. And it looks like the shader bag just changed suddenly. Okay, so yet again, another one of those. I guess I'll keep trading with you. Please give me some ender pearls. I, I kind of got gold for a little bit. Have a great day, buddy. Nope, nope. You're just gonna shoot at me. Okay, la, I guess you kind of stole my gold. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so weird. What the heck? Oh, whoa! Was that one of the upgrades? Oh, and look at that over there. Why is that shining purple? I have no idea, but let's go check that out. Wait a second. That is... Oh my gosh! That is not a normal place! Holy! This is not good. Okay, so we need a bit of a new game plan, because that place right there is very powerful. Also, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, we're like first person shooting this thing. Up we shoot a little bit. Okay, there goes another one. We are taking so much damage right now. Thank you, Golden Carrots. Please don't die. Please don't die. This is getting a little bit too close for comfort. Why is this guy so difficult? Okay, here we go again. Full health. Let me get a couple shots. There we go. Shot that guy. Okay, how do I beat this place guy? Oh, I beat him. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm pretty sure I got absolutely nothing from that. So, uh, let's go ahead and grind this thing out. And no, 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 no. We are finding another one. And why am I blind? I guess I got to deal with it. Okay, let's go ahead and try to fight these guys. Okay, we definitely have enough. That is definitely more than enough. Let's get out of here, get some gold, and then finally get these ender pearls, because oh my goodness. Also, I realized that there's a fighting mode and a mining mode. So fighting mode, literally when I swing, it's like this, which is sick. What the heck? Okay, so I can like stab and go like all that. 
that. Okay. And then in mining mode, it pretty much goes back to normal. But before anything, let's get as much gold as we can and then do a lot of trading because I definitely need some ender pearls. All right, here we go. Take your gold, buddy. There you go. And uh, please, please don't shoot me and trade. Thank you. I'm going to run away over here while you do all that trading. You are also very HD. It's kind of crazy how this Minecraft looks right now. Well, now we wait for this guy to trade and hopefully we get some ender pearls. All right, gold is up. It looks like he's mad at me, but it also does look like we got some ender pearls. I'm not sure if that's 16 or 8. Please be 16, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, 16 plus 1 ender pearls. I think we got that instantly, but I didn't realize for a bit. And uh, 6 crying obsidian, which actually makes me realize we just got another upgrade. But what is that exactly? But now that we're done with that, let's actually get back to our portal and see what exactly changed in the overworld. Holy, that'll never get old. It's literally the nether in the nether portal. All right, so now let's get the blaze powder out. Let's real quick make some of these eyes of ender. And I guess for the next achievement we get, that's probably going to be I spy when we get to the stronghold. So let's get up. Holy, what a beautiful surface. Oh my gosh. Minecraft is definitely getting a lot more beautiful right now. And holy tree. That is giant. What the heck is going on? I haven't tried sleeping yet. Let's go find some wool real quick and see if that changes anything. Look at these bad boys right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Give me your wool. Okay. It feels weird. Uh, the, the, I was going buddy. Okay. My computer is dying very much, but you know what? Let's get that wool. We got only two wool. That is a bit of a scam. Can I make wool this way? Oh, that's a thing. And now we wait for it to get nighttime, which actually should be very soon. Oh man. What a beautiful world right now. I'm kind of terrified for the next upgrade, but I mean, if my PC has to explode, it has to explode. Oh man. Okay. I think it's time guys. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Realism upgraded. We got sweet dreams and oh my gosh, guys, we're getting 30 frames right now and everything looks very much realistic right now. I guess let's get the eyes of Ender. Where do we got to go? Okay, straight that way. Let's go that way. And do I have a saddle for whatever reason? No, I have no saddle, sadly. Okay, is that a bird? Oh my gosh. We don't talk about that. Okay, let's 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 run away and uh, can we get two subs for that bird's death? I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I have Ender. Oh wait, it changed directions that way. I guess I could try digging straight down over here. Before we do that, let's real quick make a couple more eyes of Ender. Yeah, we should be good there, and we have an Ender pearl. Okay, so I guess straight down this way we go. Oh man, this is there's like shadow effects. I gotta get a torch out just in case. Oh wow, what the heck? That felt so realistic. Okay, wait. This is not a normal stronghold. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't be here, honestly. And I didn't get I spy, so I'm guessing it's because it's realistic and oh. Right. Okay, guys, I think it might be time. Let's break that real quick. And without further ado, we have the portal right in front of us. So let's go ahead and light this up. And uh oh my gosh, I forgot the portals did this. It's so dark in there. Oh no. Do we do this? As soon as I enter there, I'm gonna be getting another achievement, and that's gonna cause us to get another realistic upgrade. I'm not really sure what to expect when we go down there, but without further ado, here we go. Holy okay. Oh my gosh, wait, everything's so highly detailed. That dragon's HD. I guess let's go ahead and break all these crystals. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Okay, that's another one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, that's another one. Okay, dragon, you're doing a lot of damage. No, 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 no. Do not stop me. Do not stop me. Enderman, Enderman, why do you kick like that? I don't like that. Oh, one more. Okay, please hit. Oh, there we go. Okay, all the crystals are done. Let's real quick ender pearl inside and I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh wait, we're actually doing damage. Okay, it's so hard to see this guy because it's so dark, but I mean, I'll take it. It looks so realistic. What the heck? Also, it does a lot more damage than usual. Oh my goodness. Holy obsidian is so realistic. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. Dragon, get back here, man. Oh, actually, let's real quick. Going into combat mode. I think we might be able to do more damage this way. Okay, that's one hit. One, two, and there we go. Finally, after all that, we get the final realism upgrade, and that is going to be it for Minecraft, but the world is extremely realistic. Well, I'm pretty sure that was all the realistic upgrades, and I guess we might see what is realistic now once we go inside. Holy... Okay. Yeah. The game got really realistic. That is some good-looking dirt, good-looking grass. This is Minecraft, but you can time travel. Today, Minecraft is about to travel through time, evolving your items, player, and even the game itself thousands of years into the future. From evolved tools to evolved structures to even a photorealistic game. Oh, no. My computer is about to die again. I'll be going higher and higher in years evolved, all leading up to the final Minecraft evolution. So, how far can Minecraft be evolved to? And how much can I evolve X Astorio? Stay tuned to find 
find out. Oh, what? Defeat the butterfly? Um, okay. Wait, how am I supposed to defeat a butterfly? Okay, we hit it once. This is so hard to hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? Seven? I don't even know what that number is. BC. Wait, where am I? Okay. Sticks, zero out of 32. And we got a loincloth. Defuel draft. Hey, look at me. Okay, so we have a little thing like this. Declassified time guide. A dinosaur nest is built from sticks. They can be a scavenger's dream. But careful, some species are extremely territorial. Wait, we also got a stone spear some crude stone things and an axe. Uh, okay, let's get the sticks going. Did I get the sticks? Oh, wait, it's a dinosaur nest. Where's a dinosaur nest? Oh, I found it. Okay, so it's like a little campfire that's empty. I guess this is gonna be the first thing I do and just put some sticks into it. Well, let's go put all the sticks I can. I kill that butterfly pretty quickly. So what do I get with this? Oh gosh, okay, it's going up. Do we get anything? Oh, hey, angry dead. Oh, okay, we're fighting apparently. Okay, literally bosses back to back to back. Let me throw my spear trident thing. It's literally pretty much a trident. Okay, get over here. I, I, I feel so bad for just killing this little dino guy, but yeah, he's kind of adorable. He's doing a lot of damage, though, and oh my gosh, that is a lot of pork chop. Rest in peace, Mr. Dino, but wait, what's that in the sky? Oh my gosh! No, 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 my computer cannot handle that. Okay, okay, let's keep going this way and over the best. Okay, it's done. I guess that was the end of the dinosaurs from the small dinosaur. Anyways, we got an eye of evolution, which looking into it is like looking into another time. Is this how I go up in time? Uh, right click. Oh, we're going up! My eyes have improved. Oh, okay, everything he actually improved a little bit with realism. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful water. And I'm supposed to help a magic golem down here or something. It says 73 blocks away, so where is this guy? Okay, wait, let's read the book real quick. Oh, um, just a lot of cryptic things and a pumpkin golem thing. Okay, anyways, I guess let's go find this magic golem guy. Also, by the way, guys, look at those leaves. Oh, wait, whoa. You're not clearly experienced enough for this yet. Come back when you're at least level 30. Oh, uh, uh okay. I'm supposed to get level 30? And the only only way to get that is by mining. Now, this should give me some levels. There we go. Okay. Level five already. Also, this place is amazing. I didn't really look through the chest yet, but give me one sec, guys. I didn't check the other houses. Maybe I'm not supposed to do this much mining right now. Okay. What's in here? <gasps> oh, okay. So I don't think I was supposed to mine that many diamonds. That is a lot of bottles of enchanting. So maybe that's enough for level 30 and level we're, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more chests. Oh, we found some more. Nice. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. Come on. We literally have over two sacks right now. Oh, wait. We're almost there. And there we go. Okay, level 30. If this was XP equals realism, we would honestly be a bit... My computer probably wouldn't be alive right now. But there we go. Okay, so now what they say, you there, muggle, get us some iron for our golem. He's nearly complete. I only got diamonds. So, um, yeah, let's go find some iron now. Though it's so hard to find what iron is in this pack. Um, I think that's iron right there. Okay, let's uh go up, I guess. Okay, that should be 18. And now let's go all the way back down. Okay, so 18 iron ingots. And what happens now? Oh, no, our golem. You broke it. Wait, what, what? What? Hello? 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 Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, they're fighting. Okay, boss fight time, I guess. Go on, little wand. Do your thing. But let's drop the main sword. Does that do good damage against you guys? Oh, honestly, this might be the best way of fighting them. I mean, after this, we might be going up in a year, I think, if this is the final challenge. Oh, no. He's saying, no, we won't come back. So, oh, he just did a sad face. Oh, rest in peace to the wizards. And now we got another Eye of Ender thing, which is going to be the Eye of Evolution. So, with that being done, guys, we ended up with 39 diamonds, a full set of wizard armor, and I think we're still back in the olden time. So I guess let's get to the next tier. And now we're going to 3100 BC. Looks like you can see better. Um, that's beautiful. Oh, it's the beautiful sun. Look at it. Oh, it says subscribe to the channel. Guys, you heard the sun. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Anyways. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Yeah, realism definitely upgraded. Check the temple door, it says. And oh, that's a bunny. We're, we're going to kill the bunny. Ancient sword. I'm going to try out the ancient sword. Oh, buddy's running. Okay. Um, Guys, I, I don't think this is normal Minecraft anymore. Wait, what happened to my wizard armor? Well, that's kind of lame. Um, So we got Pharaoh's armor from a king of the past. Oh, let's put that on. Hey, we look pretty cool. Not bad. Okay, so we got the Pharaoh's armor. Now we got an ancient pickaxe. Pretty cool. And I guess let's read the book before anything. A key to a temple is valuable. Just look out for booby traps. Oh, okay. Well, let's go inside and see what's done. I mean, we got to keep going up in realism. There's a crime table right there. Maybe we need it. The door is locked with a copper lock. Oh, wait, did I get any copper? Okay, so... How do I get copper? Because I didn't get anything. That isn't copper, I don't think, unless it's like really HD copper. Uh, maybe the sword does something? No, the sword doesn't do anything there. Axe? No. What about shovel? Oh, that's cool. Do I just move stand under me? Wait, what about the pickaxe? Oh! Oh, that's like a super pickaxe doing circles! Holy copper! <laughs> I guess we got all the copper we're ever gonna need. And I'm also curious, is this very historically accurate? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys do know, because I am going into this very blind. So how do I make the key? Is there anything around here? Is there another entrance? Maybe up here? Or... Oh, wait, what is this? Oh. 
wait. Could, could I just grab these? <laughs> Guys, uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these. I'm pretty sure this is how I grab the thing. Did I even have to go mining there? I, I, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and use this. Probably nothing good inside this temple, and I should probably not be going inside, but, you know, we're gonna do our best. Okay, uh, was it like this? Hey, okay, there we go. Copper key, a key to a temple. So, let's go inside. Oh, that's sick. You may now challenge the king. Oh, what the heck? What's up, buddy? Oh, are we really fighting? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, boss time. I don't do that much damage to him. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, he's sending out, like, some poison stuff against me. I only had the raw pork chops from the dinosaur. Guess we're doing this. All right, let's go, king. Do I have any other abilities I can use against him? No, I don't have the wand. Dang it. All right, we're stuck with this, like, ancient golden sword thing. Oh, gosh, he's giving me slowness. Okay, couple more hits. One more hit. And just like that, that is going to be it for the king of the temple. Teleporting to the temple parkour area. Okay, apparently this is the next part of the challenge. And now we're doing a mega parkour. Wait, I don't have a water bucket. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think this is what I get for cheesing the copper thing. Okay, I just got to make this jump. And I don't have any blocks. I was going to cheese it again, guys. But I guess we're doing this. I'm trying to be very safe with this. Okay. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, gosh. What? This looks so good. Like, what the heck? Look at that glass. How's it going to get even more HD from this? Guys, like, look at that pumpkin. That, that's literally a real pumpkin. Like, what the heck? I made this one in the video. Comment down below. HD pumpkin. Why? Because no reason. Wait, how am I supposed to do this jump? Oh, I did it. Okay, that was actually a bit scary. Oh, okay. This bar isn't too bad. Oh, look at the ladders. That's amazing. This video is literally just going to be me again, just looking at really HD stuff. <gasps> look at the slime. What the heck? That really is HD slime. Okay, up we go. Time traveling is something else right now. Oh, wow. Okay, we're almost up, I think. Oh, no. Wait, what is this? Oh, man. Okay, we got this. Oh, we're done with that. A couple more jumps. Oh, my gosh. We finally made it. Literally to the top. And we're here finally. Oh, the bunny's here again. I don't trust this guy at all. Oh, look, a chest. Uh, are we stealing from the temple? I guess we are. What's up, man? Oh, there we go. Okay, the eye of evolution yet again. And I guess yet again, we're going up in time. Or maybe back in time. I'm not sure. Let's see what's next. 1427. Wow, it's much clearer here. Holy okay. Yeah, that is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're... we're are, are, are we not going to talk about the gravel and even the hay? Help the mage 50 blocks away. Not bad. And we also got night leggings and a bunch of cool stuff. Hey, we're full night armor. Not bad. Night sword. Oh, this is cool. Nice. <gasps> oh, do not right click the night sword. Oh, that is beautiful. Ow. Um, okay. Does the pickaxe do anything? Nope. Shovel, axe. Oh, look at that. HD axe. Nice. Um, okay. So before we go a little bit deeper, I'm going to go ahead and steal all this wood because we do need this for probably later in the challenge. I'm going to make sure I get all the items I need because I never really had a wood mining portion of the video. So let's get the wood. Don't really need all that copper right now. What does the book tell us? The medieval age was an age of fire. People faced many threats to their way of life. Help the mage 41 blocks away. Okay. Oh, is it this guy? Zandoff. It looks uh, very Stevie to me. Whoa, whoa, what's up, little Zandoff? What are you doing? You're no good with that. I use this uncharged staff. Bring me some amethyst and I'll charge it for you. Oh, I didn't even realize I got a wizard staff. Holy, that is HD. What the heck? Okay, so I got to get some amethyst and it looks like there's some amethyst right here. Oh, that's a good pickaxe. I'm going to destroy this entire kingdom, aren't I? Okay, guys, look at that tree. C can we just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful tree? Oh my gosh. Okay, I I'm loving this video so far. Like, what the heck? Realistic videos, my favorite. Holy, I I'm breaking everything, aren't I? Okay, Mr. Zandoff, I got all the crystals. Do I put it in here? No, no. Uh, do I just give it to what, 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 what happened with the crystal? Do I just throw it? Oh, that works, I think. There we go. Here, take this. Wait, what is that? A magic crystal. Cool. Oh, no. Did you hear that sound? The dragon is here. Help me stop him. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that was instant. Okay, guess we're not fighting a medieval dragon. We got the wizard staff now, which is charged. No, 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 no. Stay back. Stay back. I have a new staff, and I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Oh, it, it can fly. It can, it can definitely fly. Z Zandalf, are you going to help? No, no, you're not going to help. Okay, nice. Okay, a couple more hits. This is like a machine fireball. What the heck? Oh, well. Uh, there, there goes the dragon. Rest in peace. And I thank you. Here's a reward. You can keep the beast's eye. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry for kind of destroying your entire medieval thing. Before I go ahead and evolve again and see what we get with the realism and everything, let me just take a moment to really appreciate the scenery. Wow, that's incredible. Anyways, uh, I guess we're done here with the medieval times. Let's see where we go next. 1524. Oh, and we're getting an update. Oh, <gasps> guys, this is way too HD. I think this is the most HD we've ever had a video. Wait, Ninja, nowhere to run? It looks like we're in medieval Japan or something. Let's go and put on our samurai armor. That's pretty cool. And we got a katana. Let's go ahead and read the book. There can be many evils, but kindness pays off. Don't really know what that means. Let's make sure not to die. But oh, wait, never mind. There's some stuff behind us. Got the axe and some throwing stars. Cool. Oh, wait, what? I just right click this and it summoned like an Xistorio. What's up, buddy? Um, uh, I'm guessing he's a soldier. I ignore the really HD things. Oh, he disappeared. Anyways, let's go in here and see what's up. Anyone home? Ninjas of the Hidden Eye? Wait, where are they though? Uh, 
Hello? Oh, what's up, guys? Wait, there's so many ninjas. Wait, what the heck? We gotta fight all these ninjas? No, 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 no. Stay away, guys. I am literally just... I, I come in peace. I am not trying to fight you guys. There's so many of them. Guys, I, I don't think I can beat these guys. I, I I think I'm supposed to do something else. Wait, actually, I'm doing some damage to them now. Oh, we got them. Okay, it was the ninja stars I had to use. You're only a small fish. Wait, what did I get from them? This is statue piece. It looks like a part of a big statue. Oh, interesting. Okay, I guess let's grab those statue pieces. And also, I gotta heal up. Susashi? Wait, what the heck is going on? I hear something. Is he up here in this very beautiful roof? Oh, Susashi. What's up? I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Okay, we're, we're fighting this ninja warrior. Oh, wait, he does a lot of damage. Okay, um, the ninja armor is not doing us a lot of good stuff. Throwing star, go on, throwing star. Oh gosh, it barely does any damage. Holy, okay, this boss fight is actually really hard. We're barely doing any damage. Throwing stars, go. Literally just gonna spam them. Couple more hits. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. This is barely doing any damage. Beautiful fight though, at least. A few more hits. And yes, finally, we finally beat Susashi. I need to train more. And we got another uh, statue piece, which I still don't know where we're supposed to put this at. Oh, never mind. It says statue piece zero out of eight. Where is it though? Okay, so in the book, it looks like that. And I'm gonna guess that's what we need for the next area. Give me one sec, guys. I'm gonna try to find this thing. Oh, he was literally at the entrance of the thing. Let's real quick give you all the little statue pieces. And hey, there we go. Okay, so we got the next eye. I don't think I need the statue pieces anymore. And I think we might be done here in the year. I think it was 1574. So without further ado, guys, let's evolve yet again and see how much your eyes improve. Oh gosh, where we go now? 1676. Your eyesight is improving. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is the new update Legos? This doesn't even make any sense. I mean, how did we go from realistic to I guess it does look realistic? Wait, what is that thing? Okay, hold on. Boat, pirates. I think we're now in the pirate era, guys. Oh, we got a pirate hat. It's, uh, it's, it's Captain Nestor. Very nice. I like that a lot. Oh, what, what? This is literally a Lego. Okay, I'm not even gonna question it. We're supposed to be pirates. We get the arg, swashbuckler, sword. Does this do anything cool? Oh, we, we shoot a sword. Not bad. Anyways, what do we get this time in the book? Sometimes the solution is a bigger stick or a golden or cannonball. By the way, my computer is making the loudest noise ever right now. I don't know how the Legos are even more laggy. Wait, the Kraken? Uh, Captain? Captain? Uh, is there a captain? Are you the captain? No, you're, you're a pirate. W w where's the captain? Okay, maybe he's still here. Oh, I found him. Arg, don't just stand there, matey. Get us some more golden cannonballs and hurry. That Kraken is going to have us for dinner. Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, I gotta give you gold blocks. Oh, gold, gold blocks, gold blocks. How am I supposed to know what gold blocks are when everything is Legos? If I was a gold block, where would I be? Maybe in the other ship? Let's try that. Okay, so it wasn't in that ship, but apparently I think the shovel works for this. <gasps> oh, it worked. Oh, look at all that gold. Okay, I think I found the way. Uh, that is 19. Okay, we just need a little bit more and then we're good. Oh gosh, yeah, computer, computer's not happy. Okay, that, that should be enough gold. Let's real quick get those blocks of gold. And now, Mr. Power, here you go, buddy. Oh, what the heck? Wait, we have cannons. Thank you, mateys. Ready, aim, fire. Oh, we're literally fire cannons at the Kraken. That's sick. Oh my goodness, this poor Kraken. All right, uh, just a couple more shots and then we should be good. All right, one last shot and there we go. Thank you. Have the treasure compass. Oh, rest in peace, Kraken. And uh, let's go ahead and grab that compass from you. Oh, wait. So we might not be done in this area if we get a compass. Treasure compass. Okay, what do I do with this thing? Do I just follow it? Says so go straight that way. I guess we'll go that way. By the way, those cannons are so sick looking. Let's go that way. Oh, wow. Very nice. X marks the spot. It's a big old X and it actually looks really HD. Nice. Oh, wait. We got to mine this, I'm guessing. All right, down we go. And hey, we found the chest. Okay, let's block this off real quick so nothing bad happens. Now, what's in here? Hey, we found the pirate's treasure. Not bad. Okay, that's a lot of good stuff. Very nice. And best of all, right here, I think we finally can go ahead and evolve yet again. So let's go ahead and grab that. I have evolution. And I guess, Mr. Pirates, I'm going to be gone now. I didn't explore those villages, but oh well. Let's see what we get this time. 1884. We're getting really high up there. Minecraft isn't even made yet. The world looks so different. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa. Okay, we're back to things being a little bit better. Oh, man. Yeah, things are HD. Help, Cowboy Rough Rodney. Wait, are we in the cowboy area now? Cowboy leggings, hey! Alright, I'm a little cowboy. And now we got a wrangling sword, sweeping edge three, Wester axe, nothing special, does the job, and the Wester pickaxe. Nice. Okay, so what does the book say? It takes a true cowboy to defend this livestock. Mr. Cowboy Rodney, where you at? Hey, okay, we found him. Hey, fellow, mind lending me a hand? This whole town's on fire. Help me put them out. I mean, why not? I already put out one fire, so let's go ahead and, I guess, get to all the other ones. It's not that many. By the way, holy, this looks really nice. Nice. Holy, that is um, a lot of fire. Okay, we should be good there. Now let's get to the next ones. Eight in total. So I guess let's just jump from building to building. What even causes? Was it you, Tree? It was probably that tree. 
And there we go. Okay, now let's all go all the way back to the cowboy and see what he wants us to do. I mean, do we got to find something? Let me eat all these raw pork chops. Cowboy, what's up, man? Whoa, you really saved our biscuits. But our gosh darn cows get out the gate. Think you can help drag him back? Uh, I mean, sure. But, but, but where, do, where do I find some cows? Oh, do, do you have any leads or anything? Oh, hey, what's up, man? Wait. <laughs> right like to and it gave me a a cow a really hd cow let's i guess grab all these guys real quick and then uh talk to rough rodney and put them wherever they need to be in 17 13 18 20 and there we go okay mr rancher bill what's up buddy uh okay so i give them to him help me catch all these cows i got you i got i got all the cows you pretty much need um i guess let's stand them over I, am i like that strong i don't think that really makes sense but you know we're evolving that's all that matters thanks for your help please tell rodney the cows are safe now uh, okay i think he's back here and this is a really interesting fetch quest. Oh, look at that. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyways, uh, my man, I got you your stuff. Thank you a ton there, buddy. You saved our, our here town. You know, I bet those darn bandits across the tracks were the ones that caused all this. You should go rough him up for me. Uh, yes, I will go fight the bandits and hopefully not die. If I die, then, uh, I guess the town's over. Wait, are they all the way over there? Do I gotta cross that train thing? Okay, do we get on the train or... Alright, let, let's go from train thing to train thing. Okay, we're almost over here. I don't see anyone, though. Where are these guys? Oh, wait, never mind, they're here. Um, I guess bandit fighting time. No one can stop us. I, I Wow, well, okay, that's a lot of them. Do I not have any special abilities? Oh, I do. Oh, wait, I think I have like a sword tornado. Wait, what if I hit them off the cliff? That might be the strategy, guys. Off the hill, you guys go. Oh, there goes one. Oh, we're getting them. All right, get over here, buddy. Okay, so we pretty much killed most of them. There's another dude right here. Wait, do, do I just knock him out? I feel I feel so bad. Bye-bye. Hey, we did it. Okay, I would have gone away with it if it hadn't been for your meddling time traveler. That, that, that's me. That last one dropped something. Oh, I really gotta go all the way down there. Oh, come on. I don't even have a water bucket. Okay, where the heck did it drop? Oh my gosh. So I went all the way down there and I had to come all the way back up because, uh, yeah, it was up here the whole time. Anyways, I'm evolution. So yet again, everything's going to upgrade again. And I guess let's see what we get next. Here we go. 2024. Oh, and our eyes are changing too. Whoa. Okay. That, that was definitely a change. And where the heck am I now? 2024. What happened in 2024? I mean, we're 2022. Okay. So we got some survival armor. They're barely holding together. Okay. So we got a rusty sword, apocalyptic pickaxe. Wait, what the heck did we get into? Does this do anything? Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, that's what that does apparently let's get the book out though and what does it say this time survival in hopeless situations requires brains brawn and sometimes shiny rock armor um so 2024 apocalyptic what, what's over here then okay let's go inside uh before anything you guys already know me gonna mind that anvil real quick and that's my anvil now probably why is it so hd what the heck oh yeah what's up guys shane oh thank god you must be here to help please get us some diamonds for protection i knew saving those diamonds was gonna be helpful and we don't have enough <laughs> Okay, so we have Shane, Fiona, Finn, Olivia, John, Adam, Brawley, and Phil. I, I like that guy's name, bruh, and then Lee. Okay, um, okay, so where do I get these diamonds then? Do I mine down? Let's mine down, I guess. Oh gosh, I just hit right click. Wait, what just happened? Let's go ahead and grab those diamonds, and I think we're good. I don't know what that pickaxe ability is, but that's insane. All right, guys, um, to the survivors, I am back, the time traveler, the evolving ex -historio. Let's go ahead and, I guess, drop these right here, and do you guys pick them up or something? Oh, it's working. Nice. Okay, so now we wait till 48, and then we see what happens. Happens. Oh, thank you. This armor will help keep our people safe. Looks like it was just in time. They're coming. Wait, whoa, whoa, what's coming? Uh, hello? Survive the zombie horde? Oh, it's a zombie apocalypse. Okay, that makes sense now. Well, anyways, let's go in. Oh, gosh. Okay, I sliced in way too far. Wait, where'd the survivors go? I gotta, I gotta help them. Go, go, go on, guys. Oh, they're OTL fighting. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Holy zombies. What the heck? Okay, there's so many of them. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Just a few more, and then we should be good. The survivors are doing a pretty good job against these guys. Okay, a couple more. Almost done. And yes. Okay, we're good. And also, you guys are of stuck there. There's one more coming? Wait, what? What the heck? Brutus, what's up, man? Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually a bit difficult. Go on, team. Get him. No, 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 no. Calm down, buddy. I only have a sword and a dream. Okay, halfway done. Oh, almost there. Come on, guys. And there we go. Brutus is done. Thank you so much. You saved us. Thank you, Nestor, for saving us. I found this shiny thing. You can have it. Oh, there we go. So, I guess with that being done, guys, I'm sorry about the apocalypse, but I guess I'll be going now. Let's see what type of HD textures we get next. And here we go. 2147. Oh, Wait, what the heck? Um, oh, okay. It's the really HD default pack. I guess this is the nether portion of the challenge. And we got heated armor, which I'm going to guess is pretty much netherite armor. Pretty cool. Protects you from heat in a heated blade. Oh, this is kind of cool. And uh, the hot pickaxe. Oh my goodness. If you guys are OGs to the channel, you guys already know what the hot pickaxe does. And wait, it usually doesn't do that, but that's sick. Okay. And the heated blade. What do you do? Oh my 
gosh. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but that's sick. Okay, so do I go all the way over there? Uh, how do I even go all the way over there? Oh, wait, we can go that way. Okay, let's go over there. Up we go, and now what are we gonna find in here? Captain Balrog? Hello? Am I supposed to fight you? Oh my, <gasps> okay, that was loud. Oh, we're fighting, I guess. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, the, the right click attack is doing a ton of damage. I can't even see him fully. Oh my, that is sick. You've killed the captain. Might as well loot his ship. Netherite key one. Nether wings, light as air. Wait, what does this do? Oh, it's like an elytra. All right, nether wings, let's go around it. And now let's find the key. Any chests around here? Wait a second. This looks a little familiar, guys. Do you guys remember the temple? We needed a copper key. And oh, I never read the book. A fearsome power is mighty. A determined adventurer needs to be mighty if he's to take over his crew. I mean, where's his crew? I, I kind of just got to destroy their thing, but let me grab those netherite blocks. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to mine for it, but I'm going to real quick steal it. And without further ado, let's make one of these. Hey, there we go. Okay, netherite key. Now, where do I put this thing? This must be the key to Captain Balrog's chest. Where's his chest, though? Okay, if I was a chest, where would I be? Oh, we found it. Um, does it have eyes? Kind of looks adorable. That, that might just be a normal chest. Okay, well, it's up in here. Okay, and hey, lots of diamonds and netherite. Not bad. Okay, don't really need it, but the main thing I want is actually this thing right here, which is yet again another eye of evolution. So I guess yet again, let's improve the graphics. See where we go. And here we go. 4,239? Your eyesight is cracked. Welcome back, Nestor. Fuel reserves are depleted. Minimal fuel needed. 16 evolutionary fuel tanks. Where am I? Oh, we're in space. Oh, this is sick. And we got a lightsaber. What the heck? Anyways, let's update our eyes real quick. Whoa, okay. Uh, The cobblestone is so HD. What the heck? And we have a laser digger 9001. Right click to use the power of over 9000. Oh, laser. I like lasers. Adventure is the fuel of life unless you're stranded in space, which I guess I am. Okay, how do we get fuel then? Wait, find my ship. So my ship should be somewhere this way. Maybe up here? Wait, what are these things? Are these aliens? Alien fuel sources detected nearby. Oh, it's these guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We're fighting aliens apparently. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. They do so much damage. I don't even know what I'm fighting. Oh my gosh, this is sick. What the heck? Okay, that's another one. They keep coming. No, nope, go, go away, aliens. I don't know how I would travel, travel through time to get all the way here, but this is really happening. From ninjas to bandits to now aliens. Very nice. Okay, let's put in all the fuel and... Oh, okay. Systems online. Welcome aboard. Wait, warning. Space anomaly detected. Sudden explosions may occur. Wait, what? Oh, holy. Wait, what? Um, I think we're back and I... I think we killed the dragon somehow through all that. Okay, dragon's done. We have one more eye of evolution. And I think this might be the final realism thing. So, final right click. And hey, there's a butterfly. Congratulations, you beat the evolutionary challenge. So, with that being done, guys, I think that's it for the dragon. And I think that might be it for the challenge. This is Minecraft, but you get more realistic. Today, my Minecraft character is going to be turning into a realistic uh -huh. human. From growing real arms to upgrading my body to be completely realistic. To even getting a bald Head? My goal is to reach 100% realistic form, but to get there, I'm gonna need to complete multiple realism challenges. So, what do I look like when I reach 100% realistic huh? form? And will even other mobs be realistic? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, 0% realistic, and right now our goal is to go from this to this. Literally that. And to get realistic, we have a mission at the top that says feed a goat. Oh, how do we feed a goat though? Maybe we can get some from the farm? Give me the weeds and the carrots. Thank you very much. Sorry, farmers. Might as well get some tools too. And now we should be good. Okay, so if we gotta feed a goat, I have carrots and wheat. Um, maybe it takes wheat. I'm not really sure. Right click? And oh. Oh, we just bit my hand! You were bitten by the goat! <laughs> what? Wait, do I get it off? Oh, shaking. Oh, get off, get off. Ow, ow, oh. I think I just threw the goat. Um, and so with that being done, we got the van spit goaded. And oh my gosh, is this the item I right click to get more realistic? So this is a realistic token. And as you can see in the middle, by the end of the video, we're gonna be looking like that. So let's go to right click. Oh, and realism upgraded. What was that? Oh my. Oh, we got a real hand. Guys, this is only 10% realism and we straight up have a lib now. What the? And in chat, it says, roll and increase to 10%. Something is happening in the village. All right, guess we're on to the next thing because we are going to be trying to get to full realism. And what the heck are you? Hello? Oh, he's, he's vibing. Okay, we got some music going. All right, what's up, man? Uh, can, can I lend you a hand? Yo, my man, Nestor. I want to host a dance competition. Think you could help me out? I need a crowd and room for a dance floor. Stat. Okay, so I got to pitch some villagers and I'm going to guess that's going to be one over there. All right, so if you don't know how to do a pitch, but can you please join the dance thing? Hello? Hmm, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
Okay. Dang. Don't take it no for an answer. Convince him. He literally disappeared into the void. What? Wait, how do I convince him then? Wait, did he go into this house or something? Oh, wait, if this is glowing green, does it mean I can pick it up? Uh, right click. Oh, guys, I have the house. Okay, so now that we have the house, that means I can force him to join the dance competition. So come with me. It's right this way. This is the power of a real as a man, guys. And this is only 10%. Okay, wait, so what do I do? Do I like shake him out? Oh, I can shake him out. And now he's with us. Oh, he's a spectator. Okay, so I gotta bring 18. Is there any more here? Oh, wait. Okay, that's two. Maybe one more. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. We got three guys. And so now what do I do with the house? Do, do I like right click? Can I place it down? Right click? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. Yet again. Let's pick up the house real quick. I'm going to guess there's three in here. So one, number two, number three. Is there one more? Oh, and there's four in that one. All right. Don't need the house anymore. Goodbye. All right. Let's see how many are going to be in this one. Let me grab you real quick. All right. One, two, three, four. Well, let me do one more. Oh, and five in that one. Nice. All right. This time I'm going to save the house. Don't worry. Let's go straight to the ocean. All right. There we go. Oh, another one right here. And hopefully this one has enough. Oh gosh, let's go. All right, come out guys. One, two, three. Okay, that should be the three right there. And those three guys over there aren't joining the contest. So take else in the face. Oh, they live. Very nice. Okay, one more else to go. Okay, this one right here. Let's go ahead and grab you. And this should be the last one we need if they all had three. All right, guys, I'm back here. Go one, two, and last one. Hey, we did it. Whoa, talk about a party. Next, we need a space to dance. Make some room. Oh, I guess I can make some room. Maybe I can super punch. Let's super punch. Help. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't open it, but it does that. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, give me, give me one sec. Let's get some wood. All right, let's clear this area out. And now we make a dance floor. Okay, now that the dance floor is done, let's go ahead and talk to the dance instructor. What are we learning? This is plenty of space. Thanks. Now we need to make a dance floor. Could you get me four different types of dye? Oh, okay. So it's not dance ready. Okay, so we got to get some dye. We need four different types. One sec. Well, I guess we can get that flower, that flower, that flower, that flower. All right. Should be pretty easy. All right, that should be all the flowers. Then we go boom, boom. All right, got all the dyes. That was pretty easy. There you go. One of those. Get one of those. Pick them out with my realistic hand itself. And perfect. Just one issue. I don't have anyone to compete. Think you can learn some in? Wait, uh, how do I do that? I just gotta grab two contestants. Uh, can I pick any of you? Oh, try leading two mobs in. Oh, maybe a sheep or a cow or a pig. Hold up. Let me real quick grab some of these carrots, a little bit of wheat. And I guess we could just take them to the dance floor. Wait, can you follow me? Oh, they both follow me. All right, this way. No, the pig is not interested. I'll come back for you, pig. Don't worry. All right, straight this white cow. We're gonna get you all the way over here. Okay, he's in. All right, now a pig. Let me get my carrot. Oh, this guy is fast. All right, this way, buddy. And there we go. By the power of music, let them pre dance. Oh, we're dancing. Yo, let me get on the dance floor. Hey, I'm just doing the spin moves. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. That the pig is twerking and the cow is doing the, the, the nice, very nice, very nice. What the heck is going on? Wow, what a show, bravo. And so with that being done, I'm not sure if I won that, but um, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're doing that. Can, can, we, can we get one like for the, the cow and the pig? Okay. Anyways, we got another realistic token. So I think it's time we get even more realistic. Okay, here goes nothing in three, two, one. Realism upgraded and wait, did I get anything? Oh, wait, hold up. Guys, I got feet. What? I got realistic feet, yo. Interesting. Well, thanks coach, appreciate that. And now we got the message saying realism increased 20%. New ability unlocked. Press one to show your moves. Uh, so what, what does this do? Oh! Oh, that's sick! I, I am so sorry, by the way, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm like earthbending. Yo! And we also got the message saying something big just fell underground. Wait, something big just fell underground. Hold up. Uh, is there a way I can go down with the cave? Give me one sec, guys. Oh, I found it. Okay, so it's the miner's cave. All right, so I'm... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna guess that's what happened. Holy, um, you okay? Whoa, my savior! Oh, God, I, I guess that, that, that'll be me. Well, what's up, man? I seem to have gone a tad bit stuck. Mind letting me a hand? Um, can, can I just punch you out? Oh, it's too hard. You need a tool. Wait, could I just use the new ability? Oh, no, no. Okay, that doesn't work either. Maybe I hit it with the pickaxe? Oh, wait, I think I'm actually breaking it. Okay, another one. And oh, it worked. Yes. Oh, look at that. Any chance you can help me get a new leg? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, okay. I mean, I do I do got the girl arm. I, I, can, I can do something. Oh, what? You have something in mind? Uh, yes. We did unlock a new craft on the screen right now. And the craft is a bunch of shards and a peg leg? Huh? Maybe there's something down here in the cave? Oh, wait, there is. Okay, I'm gonna guess I gotta go venture in here. Wait, I hear something down here. Oh, wait, what the heck is that? Hello? Do, do you talk? Oh, okay, no, he doesn't talk. All right, time for a boss fight, and oh, 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 okay, that, that was quick. So from that, we get Bruce's cutlass and a peg leg. Oh, this might be what we need for the craft. Okay, and what about the cutlass? Oh, oh, that, that, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so now with these things, how do I get the metal shards? Here, let's go the other way. Maybe there's something there. Oh, I may have found where he was mining. Okay, so we got the drill right here. Does this do anything? Oh, okay, let's turn that on there, and do I 
I turn this on? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, maybe there's more levers. Okay, so we got two levers right there. Hold up. Oh, another one right here. Oh gosh, okay, there might be one more. Maybe back here. There we go. He shut down the drill. Go pick it up. Oh, wait, so now I pick this up? Oh, uh, I don't use this thing. Oh, I throw it. Hold up. Oh, wait, so I'm supposed to break the drill, I think. That makes sense now. Okay, let's keep throwing the drill. And now we have six metal pieces, which I think is everything I need. And so the craft was some of these, and then we get the peg leg, and now we have a prosthetic leg. Very nice. Not for us, though, because we got, I guess, our realistic feet and the realistic hand. I don't know what we're going to get after this, though. All right, Mr. Villager guy that got stuck into the rocks. Here we go. And now you get a brand new leg. Oh, he got it. Well, I guess you got the leg up on those games. Uh, okay, uh, okay, nice. <laughs> and so yet again, we get a realistic token. So I guess let's right click and see what happens. Right click, realism upgrade. And oh, I got a leg. Oh gosh, I got a full on leg. Oh, and the miner says, whoa, nice leg. You should go try out for the FBI. Here, this map shows you where the, our tryouts are. Hold up, let me go back down there. What do you mean got a map? Oh, we got an FBI tracker. All right, like I guess that's all you need is a leg. Okay, okay, so we gotta go 2,000 blocks away now. But before we go to do that, we did get a new ability, which is now double jump with press two. And oh, we got the double jump. Nice, that's a good little throwback. Okay, yeah, but the other leg is still normal, so uh, we gotta be careful. Anyways, we gotta go straight this way. So, village, it was nice knowing you guys. I am now gonna go on my journey for maybe the other leg. All right, here we go. Wait, this is not the FBI. Um, is this a football field? Touchdown here. Oh, wait, are we playing football? Oh my gosh, wait, it's straight up a team. What the heck? And that's straight up a football Minecraft. Head coach. All right, what's up, head coach? Howdy there, son. Man, that's one neat leg you got. FBI, that's us, the football internationals. Uh oh, oh, okay. If you wanna try out, build us some goalposts first, then kick me some field goals. Oh, okay, wait, so I'm trying out for you guys? Um, okay, so we gotta build some goalposts now. All right, so I'm pretty sure the goalposts would probably go probably right here. Yep. All right, um, guys, I'm, I'm not very good at this as always. So we're just going to build up and we're going to build like an upside down you. And that's the goalpost. <laughs> so bad at building. And now let's build the enemy goalpost, which uh, I'm gonna probably do the same exact thing this time, but this time with the power of editing, we're gonna skip to the good part. So watch this. Three, two, one. Okay, might look bad, but at least I'm consistent. All right, now I think I just gotta kick this into the thing. All right, so uh, I don't know how to do this. Do I just use the kick ability? Here we go. I'm gonna aim right there. In. Oh, come on, make it, make it, make it. And it's in. Yes, what a score. Okay. Oh, and the ball's back. Oh, wait, so can I do this a couple times? Wait, I, I wanna do a proper big one. Okay, so can I even aim like really high up? Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, and he was impressed. Perfect. You made the team. Our opponent should be here any minute now. Oh, wait, we're, we're still not playing a game. Oh, gosh, who's the opponent? Get the ball to the other team's side to get a point. Oh, it's these guys. Hit someone to take the ball. If you get hit, you lose the ball. First of four goals win. Okay, wait, so I'm supposed to pick up the ball. Where's the ball, though? Oh, I got the ball. Oh, there they are. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, okay, they're after me. Why is my team not helping me? Do I just put in the touchdown? I'm gonna guess I gotta get it right here. Oh, and goal. Yo, let's go. Okay, back in formation. Let's go. Can they steal the ball for me? Oh, wait, they stole the ball for me. Oh, go on, team. Get them. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. They're tackling each other. Let me get the ball back. Give me the ball. Oh, I got it. Oh, we're going for the run. Let's go. Wait, I could actually double jump probably. Oh, let's double jump all the way over there. All right. Let's get him the touchdown. And that's another goal. Very nice. All right. Let's grab back at it again. Here we go, guys. And where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, I got it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. A little bit too close. Tackle one, boys. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Find it back. Find it back. Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, let me get that ball from you. All right. Got the ball. Oh, no. We got it back. Okay. This is actually a little harder than it looks. Who has the ball? Oh, I got it. Yes. Oh, gosh. Let me get away from them. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going for the run, guys. What the realistic leg. One more touchdown. And that's another goal. Oh, wait. Three, two, one. Uh, the, well, we're going for another round. All right. I'm three running this one. I'm too good. Too good, guys. I mean, at this point, how many points do I have to get? All right. Let's put it in. And enough. Your weird limbs are cheating. What? How about this? Next field goal wins. Oh, oh okay. Okay. We're, we're doing next field goal. I guess let's go to the field goal area. Oh, my gosh. That was an awful field goal. What the heck was that? Guys, it's my turn. No, I miss. No matter. There's no way you can kick a ball through that again. Oh, wait. Do I not have a ball anymore? Oh, wait. Could I technically kick him? All right. Sorry about this, buddy. But you're the ball now. And up you go. Oh, look at him go. Oh, does that count, guys? Does, does that count? Oh, and that's going to be game done. Victory. Return to the ref. All right. Good game, guys. Uh, uh, double
definitely was a good one. And good job, team. Uh, you, you guys were great. All right, Ruff. Well, what do we got to do now? Hey, we have a winner. Take this as a reward for your great win. And so with that being done, we get the advancement done and a nice trophy. Oh, oh, and we can throw the trophy. But best of all, we get the next realistic token. Oh, the Ruff says those arms are really something. Maybe some proper training can make those things lethal weapons. I know a place. Take this and feel free to see what you can do. Oh, I'm gonna guess that's where I gotta go next. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see how realistic we get now with the token in three, two, one. Realism upgrade and oh, we got our other arm. Yo, and now we have two realistic arms. And we also got an ability to throw balls. Throw a ball? Oh, nice. And so now we got the dojo compass, which I'm gonna guess takes us this way. All right, time for a new place, guys. Let's get some more realism and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we made it over here and it's like the middle of a jungle. And here we have a black belt only cave. So I'm gonna guess I gotta get a black belt from the dojo. And that's what we're doing today. All right, let's go inside. Oh, is this like the sensei of the dojo? Oh, Kung Fu Master, what's up, man? Young Grasshopper, you wish to learn the art of Kung Fu? Hmm, sign up 11 more students. I will only teach a full class. Wait, is this a multi level marketing scheme or something? Like, what? Why do you sign up? Gee, uh, okay. Can I sign up the panda? Can I sign you up? Oh, wait, the panda works. Oh, loves some self defense classes. I did not expect that. What about the cow? Looks like beef is off the menu. Oh my gosh, okay. Can, can I even get the pig? And I got the pig. All, all right, let's, I guess, get all these students. Get some more cows. Here we go. Can I get the villager, though? Are you guys combat trained? Oh, we can get the villager. All right, let's get the other villager right here. And now, who's gonna be the final student? Let's get that beta right there. And now, that should be 11. And am I good to be trained under you now? Now that I have all my students, we can begin training. First, you'll need to punch five different objects of five different weights. They'll be in the storage room. Okay, let's go over here. I'm gonna assume. Do I just punch it? Oh, all right. Well, we got some good strength. Do I, do I punch this one? Okay, yep. Even heavier one. Oh, gosh, that doesn't do that well. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can push it all the way over there. And now this one. Oh, no, barely moves. Oh, wait, I got an idea. What about super punch? Oh, we got both of them. Yeah, let's let's make sure to get new record in here. Let me put you all the way over there. Put you all the way over there. And that should be impressive enough. Uh, Mr. Master, but is that good enough? Next up. Uh, well, well, what do we have next up? Wait, why is it shaking? Oh, gosh. Oh, ninjas? Nestor, we're under attack. Protect the dojo. Okay, so this is not a test, apparently. Uh, super kick. Oh, the super kick worked. You defeat the ninjas. Return to your master. Uh, well, well, well he's right here. Uh, Kyle, why did you not protect us? You're, you're fired, buddy. All right, Kung Fu Master. I, I guess that's that. Excellent work, people. Your training is now complete. Take this with you on your journey. On, we're done. Okay, so that's gonna be the video done on the screen. And we got yet again another realistic token and also a Kali stick. Oh, this is cool. Right click? Oh, whoa. Okay, I don't know what exactly it does, but it's like a weapon. Seven attack damage. I will definitely be using that. But now with the realistic token, let's go ahead and take that and see what happens. Realism upgraded. And we got the other leg. Yes. Oh my God. Gosh, I look weird. So realism increased 80%, and now we have the ability to throw ninja stars. Uh, ninja star? Oh, that's sick. Okay, so what do we do now? Oh, you're now a black belt. Maybe you can access new areas. Oh, that area. All right, we got like a secret club over here. Black belts only. All right, let's go inside, I guess. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is not looking like a dojo anymore. Is this a lab? Oh, mad scientist. What's up? Oh, great heavens, you startled me. I need a test subject. I promise you might not get hurt. Wait, might not get hurt, huh? Before you lay down, though, could you sign this? Oh, gosh. What am I signing? Waiver. Oh gosh, what is this gonna say? In this document, I had store consent for all responsibility or after effects of the provided procedure. Do, do I really gotta sign this? Okay, um, I'll, I'll sign it, but buy my merch at xastorio.store. Guys, we got some new merch there. Go ahead and check it out. It's on the screen right now. It's beautiful. Anyways, I'll go and sign it. Here you go, buddy. Take the waiver. Perfect. We may begin. Hop on the table. Wait, wait. No, no one mentioned anything on the table. Uh, is, is this where I hop? Oh, wait. I think I can lay down with this key. Lay? Oh, I'm laying. Oh, what is he doing? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Uh, I am not sure about this. Oh, oh, wait, what the heck is happening here? Is he like doing something to me? Did the machine fail there? Oh gosh, let me get up real quick and talk to him again. What happened? <laughs> Confound it. It's broken. I need new pieces. Get them for me or else. Okay, my goodness. All right, so we got a parts list. Let's see what we got going. Five iron ingots, two screws, and three gold ingots. And we did unlock a new craft for screws on the screen right now, which is pretty much gonna be with even more iron. So time to go mining. I don't think there's any other caves around here. So let's find a new cave. Okay, lush forest right under a jungle. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and start mining then. Let's get some iron and make an iron pickaxe first. Okay, this should be much easier. Real quick, let's get some iron now. All right, montage time. All right, and in total, that was 15. Okay. Oh, and some gold right there. 
All right, that should be good enough. Okay, now let's make the screws. I think I just need these. Then we go and make two of these. And I think that's all I need for screwing things. Technically a fastener. Nice. All right, that's two screws right there. And I think we definitely have enough of everything else. All right, let's go back down now. All right, Mr. Villager, here you go. Take your iron ingots. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's go in the screws. One screw, two screw. And now finally three gold ingots. So what happens now? Thank you. Now to fix this. All right, do your thing, buddy. And it's up. Nice. It's all fixed. Now I just need you to lay back down and we can get started. Apologies for the mishap. It shouldn't happen again. All right, let's get in position. So I'm gonna get right here again. Now let's press the lay button. What happens now? Come on, machine. That does not sound good. Oh, oh, it's powering up. Here we go. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud, move. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's he doing? Oh, no. Um, that's not good. You okay, buddy? Hello? Oh, 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 okay. And so now he becomes Franken Villager. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay back. Go number one trophy. Oh, just good damage. Go number one trophy. Get him. And down goes Franken Villager, just like that. And we get another token and a. What is this? A scientifically enhanced bow? All right, so what does the bow do? Oh, that's cool. I like that. But what we have now is yet again another realistic token, which let's get up before we use this thing again. All right, this should be good enough. Here we go. Right click, realism upgrade, and oh, guys, I have a body in Minecraft now. <laughs> Oh gosh, this video is so cursed. And a new ability to use fire your laser. Laser? Oh, oh we, we can fire a laser now as a real human. Uh, does it do anything? Oh, it mines. Oh, that's sick. Okay, don't really need that right now, but I guess let's go back up and we didn't get anything new for what we got to do next. We do have an advancement, but oh wait, why is it shaking? Hello? The great evil approaches. What type of evil is approaching me? Is it me? Oh wait, no, it's the goat from the beginning. Hello? Oh, hey, that was not nice. Oh, it's the goat herders go. Oh, oh, what? What's up, Goat Herder? Howdy. Old Billy here has been having a bit of a moody day today. He went to go get some food earlier, and I found him at the bottom of the waterfall, silly guy. He did it, Billy. This short guy? Now, son, this has to be fair. I'm going to need you to go on all fours. Huh? Why am I on all fours? Perfect. Billy said he would be waiting on top of Mount Silver. Take this. It's how I found him when he got lost. Wait, what? why are we going to Mount Silver, and why am I on all fours? So I'm going to guess this is not Billy the Goat, but I just anchored all the goats, and now I'm on a competition on all four legs? All right, we got to go 900 blocks away this way. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, this is the mountain I'm gonna guess. Use the parkour to avoid the angry goats or fight. Wait, what, wait, what do you mean? Oh my! Nope, 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 nope. I am not dealing with that right now. We are golf. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Why are there so many angry goats? Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay. All right, let's get to the top now. And I'm gonna go and fight a goat, apparently. Oh gosh. Actually, this might be a good moment. Let's use the machine gun. Go on, get them, Bo. Oh, they're dropping emeralds? Oh, wow, they are. Very nice. And down goes all the goats. Okay. Now we can go up in peace and see what's waiting for us up. Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh. New building unlocked. Press period to charge like a go. Oh, wait. Do I got to charge this guy? What's up, Billy? Oh, dot, dot, dot. Oh, oh, gosh. We're really doing this. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, yo. It's just like the battle. Let's go. Oh, it's chasing me down. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Here we go. Headbutt. Oh, okay. It's a headbutt contest. We got this. Another headbutt. <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever. Let me get in good position. Here we go. Headbutt. Oh, another headbutt. Oh my gosh, I'm destroying this guy. Here we go. Let's hit you over there. Boom. Gotta throw him around. Four more to go. I don't want to hit him off just in case it becomes harder. Get over here. Oh gosh. Okay. One more to go and get over there, Billy. Oh, did, did, did we win? Billy, is this a truce? Oh wait, what the heck? Where, where is he going now? Oh, where, where did you come from? What the heck? What's up, goat herder? Billy, my brother. No. You're a villager. How is that your brother? Defeat Billy. Oh wait, what? There's a second phase? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go, Billy. Okay. Okay. Why is he jumping so bad? Okay, scientifically enhanced bow. Do your thing. Oh, it doesn't do that much. Oh, gosh. Why do I still gotta be on all fours? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry. Look, 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 look. It was for the realism. Oh, gosh. Okay, he's almost down to half health. I might have to use another weapon. Oh, wait. What if I right click this thing? Oh, it worked. Yes. Let's go. My training helped. And so, with that being done, that's gonna be the advancement on the screen. And we got token, which again, that face is. Oh, gosh. And what is this? A goat horn sword. Uh, what does this do? Oh, we can shoot goats. Uh, um, does it do anything else? Oh, guys, it has a shift right click ability. Bingo. Nice. And now for the main event, let's yet again get realistic and see what happens in three, two, one. Realism upgrade. And oh, okay. Huh? Guys, I, I, I have no words. <laughs> I'm not even gonna question it, guys. We're at 98% realism now, and we got the new ability to revive Billy? Oh, yo! I can revive Billy now! I, I, I guess that's my human powers. Oh, oh my gosh, I look so cursed. Let's not press the key now. Revive Billy? Did that do it? 
Oh, Billy! What's up, man? Uh, you, are you gonna follow me, Billy? No, no, you're just gonna stay over there? Okay, so what exactly do we do now? Do we just, like, go go down or something? I guess we're just gonna have a moment. Oh, wait, 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 wait what is that? Did I just hear fireworks? Maybe I go to the fireworks? Oh, there's fireworks over there! I didn't even see that over there! All right, how's it going, guys? Do, do your farming, but what is this over here? Ultimate ball tournament oh gosh okay let's go do this oh it's a lot of villagers with hair and then the rest of the villagers are just normal bald villagers oh who are you co-host what's up co-host oh hello are you here for the ball tournament uh I, I guess you'll be the perfect fit would you like to sign up sure you would perfect here you go oh a sign up sheet okay what does this say in this document i story promise to shave my head following the requirement of no fewer than five million subscribers to my youtube channel hey yo wait, wait, wait. does this mean in minecraft or in real life because because i don't know if i'm I'm gonna shave my head in real life. Okay, if I shave my head in real life for five million subscribers, it'll be on my Instagram. But I probably won't do it. But go go check out my Instagram if you want to see my face. Signed, Existorial. Why not? Here we go. Sign it. All right. Uh, lines. There we go. Sign and close. There we go. To take it. Oh wait, I gotta right click. My bad. My bad. All right. There we go, buddy. All right. You're our last contestant. Go ahead and speak to the host. Okay. How do I get up there exactly? All right. Let me double jump. One side. All right, Miss Villager. Think I'm ready. Go ahead and take this and go stand next to the other competitors. Okay. Wait. So do I just like stand here or something? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our first challenge will be a rubbing head contest grab a partner and bump heads uh okay i'll, I'll choose you what's up man hey partners be we hey mate uh yeah sure uh but what do we do then oh we're heading each other oh I, I, I gotta launch them across the thing hold up hold up i'm gonna guess it's like a sumo all right let me launch you again with the power of my head launch one more and get him out of there you win you win jeez you got yourself a hard head there mate and to decide our winner we're gonna see who shines the brightest get your baby oil ready and apply it in oh wait we're doing this oh I'm so sorry! Guys, I, I, I've I burnt down the entire villager population with my bald head. Um, And so that's gonna be done. And I think we won. So now we got the realism token. And I just realized all the hair villagers just became bald villagers from that. I am so sorry, buddy. All right, another realistic token. Here we go in three, two, one. Realism upgraded. And oh my goodness. <laughs> We have air. Let's go, I think. Oh, gosh. So now we're 99% realistic, and we got the new ability where it says press six to test it out, but be careful. Wouldn't want to burn anyone. All right, how does this work? Oh, oh, it's a shiny head ability. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I know you guys are already on fire, but it's all good. And so we also got the message of you should find a new place to get a hairstyle. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that might go from 99 to 100. Okay, so I think I found it. There's a house worth a hairstylist apparently right here. Oh, there are you the hairstylist? Harry Villager. Oh, there's still one left. What's up, man? Oh, wait, I took his hair. My hair, he stole my hair. Now I have to go to Enmart when construction's completed. Okay, am I supposed to go to Enmart? Well, why did you mention that? Wait, does that mean we just got more hair? Oh, that is amazing. So he said Enmart. Where the heck is Enmart? Hold up. Let me look around. Oh, wait. Could it be over here? Because there's some villagers over here. Are you guys like construction workers or something? Oh, construction villagers. What's up? Hey, kids, stand back. A new Enmart is going here. Okay, let me stand back. Well, what's up? Oh, okay, it's shaking. Oh, it's Enmart. Yo, okay, we got a store. Oh, and we got the store manager. What's up, man? It's me, uh, Goku Existoria. What's up? No, Karen, we don't. Oh, my apologies, sir. Oh, r r really, man? I, 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 I got five of his hair right now. How can I help you? Um, I mean, I, I, I guess I could uh, get a job. A job application? Heck, you seem respectable. Can you start today? Yes? Perfect. I, I didn't even say yes, but okay. Go over to that cash register and get started. Surely it goes without saying, but no stealing products. Um, okay, I guess we got a job suddenly. All right, let me let me get to the cash register. Oh, gosh. Oh, you're the door. All right, we're in. Oh, I just grabbed some money, I think. We're literally working a job. Oh, I'm taking people out. All right, no problem, man. And wait, what? Here, Brian. Here, Brian is being suspicious. Check it out quick. Oh, gosh, what is this guy doing? All right, what's up, man? What are you doing? But he's stealing. Hey, sup, nerd? Love the look. How about instead of working like a scrub, we steal from these scummy corporate overlords? Maybe he has a point. Uh, I do need some eyes of Ender. Oh, wait. I'm actually supposed to steal the stuff. All right, give me all the stuff. Here we go. Uh, that's gonna be six, seven. Oh, gosh. Wait, what's going on now? What'd you make me do? Hey, story, how dare you? Wait, is this the boss? Oh, wait. Am I getting TP'd? End ink. Boss's office? Wait, what is this? Yep, yeah, no. Later, nerd. Oh, wait. What the heck type of grocery store was that? I'm gonna guess I gotta fight this guy. CEO Dragon. Exit story. I brought you here today to discuss your employment. Since you stole and vandalized my property, you're now being terminated from life. Oh, and I guess suddenly we're doing the dragon fight. All right, let's get our bow out and let's get started to fight. Okay, okay, buddy, time messing around. Go on, bow. Get him. All right, let's just run away. Bow at him and hope for the best. Oh, wait, could I just use the galley stick? Oh, wait, this does good damage. All right, couple 
more shots. One more shot. And down goes the dragon just like that. And now we got the advancement fired. So now we have one more realistic token. And I think this might be when we hit 100% realism. All right. Three, two, one. Right click. Realism upgraded. And now we reach 100% realism. So without further ado, I guess let's press F5 and see what we become. Oh! Really? Wait, it's a mask. Okay, nice. Well, if you guys want to see a real life story, go go follow my Instagram in the description down below. What happens when you can make any item in Minecraft suddenly become super realistic and even HD? Let's go and find out. First, my goal is to find and obtain realistic Minecraft ores, which I'll be able to use to make HD super weapons. Second, I have to craft a super realistic set of netherite armor where every time I take a step, a literal nuke happens. And last but not least, I have to try to defeat the hyper realistic dragon, but if I get hit once, the entire challenge is over. Over. Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to help me hit 3 million subscribers, go ahead and subscribe today and help us hit one whole like. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. So this is a normal wooden axe. And with these three wooden axes, we're going to be getting a very HD realistic wooden axe, which destroys all wood type blocks near instantaneously. An axe made to destroy its kin. So with that being made, guys, welcome to Minecraft. But everything we're going to be making today is going to be very realistic. And this thing is mining wood so quick, but we're not done there yet. Yet, though because with three wooden pickaxes we can also make a very realistic wooden pickaxe periodically destroys nearby blocks while mining turns out wooden tools tend to splinter and of course we can also make swords very realistic with two wooden swords and then we get a very realistic wooden sword which says hit sometimes cause the enemy to bleed for a short duration which apparently is gonna splinter the enemy so I guess mr. villager do you bleed oh it's bleeding right well that is one realistic wooden sword and the pickaxe mines a lot of area very nice so before before we go deep down and do some mining, we can also go ahead and do one more thing, which is gonna be a realistic dandelion. Place the flower outside and it will grow. Be sure to give it plenty of room. How big is this thing gonna be? Okay, well, here we go. Oh gosh, what is this? Oh, well, we pretty much just made a big old flower. Not bad. I guess now we can go mining. Okay, this pickaxe is actually really good. What the heck? But now that we've kind of used the wooden pickaxe pretty much a good bit, let's go ahead and move on to the next realistic item, which is gonna be an even more realistic stone pickaxe. Periodically, it finds extra bits of ores when digging stone type blocks. Great for finding little tidbits while mining. So is it kind of just like a normal stone axe? Oh, wait. Okay, so I find extra stuff whenever I mine stuff. Okay. All right. Well, just like that, we got some iron. Not bad. Oh, we just got gold there. I'm not really sure how getting gold from iron is realistic at all, but I guess we'll go with it. Okay. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this video is very realistic, but you know what? Let's go ahead and make the next realistic thing, which is gonna be a realistic stone sword. Mobs hit by the sword sometimes become petrified for a short duration. So terrifying, it's petrified. So, what does petrify mean? Is that like frozen or I'm not really sure. Hold up. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, apparently the rock exploded. Is that realistic? I'm not sure, but okay. <laughs> exploding rock. You know what? That'll be the comment of the day. If you made this part of the video, comment down below exploding rock. And I guess let's go ahead and make the next item, which is going to require us to make three stone axes. And take note how the stone axes look. You know, they look normal in Minecraft, but now with this, we're going to be getting a very HD realistic stone axe. Every once in a while, it finds extra bits of ores when chopping any logs. Who knew iron grew on trees? Okay. Right. These things are definitely getting better and better. And now what we got to do is definitely get some iron and then we can go in and get the realistic iron tools. But I should be careful with that. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I'm getting close to dying. No, no, please, 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 please. Okay. Skeleton, I'm going to turn you into a rock. Gosh. Okay. 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 <gasps> Wait, okay, do I just hit it like this? Oh my gosh, I just killed a skeleton like that. What the heck? Okay, let's go to mine this iron. And uh, I guess we're also still getting a gold from iron, which doesn't make any sense. Puffer fetch from iron. Does that happen in real life? Probably not. But you know what? We're getting as close as we can to making Minecraft realistic. Uh, let's just not question it though. Oh wait, we forgot one of the most important items, which is gonna be again a weird one. But take note of how the stone shovel looks. And now with two sticks, we can go ahead and make a very HD realistic stone shovel. Periodically finds random junk and treasures when digging dirt type blocks. So yet again, I'm going to guess we're going to find some good stuff with dirt. Where is some dirt? I guess let's see what we get from the dirt. We literally get mushrooms, gold, and a bunch of junk. Okay, we're going back down. That is a scam. So now that we're done with the copper, we can actually go ahead and make something realistic with the copper, which is going to be with three copper apparently. And oh, okay. Just like that, we get a realistic copper ingot. Throw into fire to heat up the ingot. Okay. Pretty good at conducting heat. Wait, so I, do I put it in here? Okay, no, I don't. So I'm going to guess I got to use a 
flint and steel or lava? Right, well, let me real quick get a flint and steel, guys. All right, so realistic copper ingot, and I guess we'll just throw in here. Oh, wait, particles. Okay, wait, did it burn away? Oh, no, wait. Okay, there we go. Realistic heated copper ingot. Right click to throw the heated copper ingot, creating a field of fire where it lands. 1,000 degree copper ingot versus hands. Well, I guess we'll throw it down here. Why not? Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, so it's literally just an explosion. Wait, low key, I could technically fight mobs with this. Oh, wait, can I try against him? Oh, it works. I guess it's kind of cool. And with that being done, let's go ahead and move on to some other realistic items. Okay, so next thing we're gonna be making is oddly gonna be with three iron ingots. And just like that, we're gonna be getting a realistic iron ingot, which when dropped creates a pit straight down to bedrock. Wait, what? I thought I was gonna be crafting with this thing, but apparently I can drop it, okay? Oh, oh, it literally does that. <gasps> It went through the void. Apparently, iron can break bedrock. But with that being done, let's go ahead and make some more realistic iron ingots. And not only can we throw these, but we can also go ahead and make literally a realistic iron pickaxe, which says digs in a three by three cube. Okay, that's pretty good. And hold crouch to charge up a large area of mine. The longer you charge, the bigger the area. Swing to activate the charge. That sounds pretty good. Not bad. Did you say vein miner? So I just hold right click and then it mines. Oh, when I shift. Oh, that's really broken. Okay, so it doesn't do the three by three like I thought it would. Would, but oh my gosh that is a lot of mobs okay maybe a better way of finding these guys is just throwing in this heated copper ingot okay that may have helped okay that was a little bit too many mobs all right let me get my heated copper ingot back it doesn't seem like there's any diamonds around here but on the bright side we at least now have a realistic iron big axe which i kind of just hold down and then boom nice let's go ahead and make the next item which is gonna require us to do a lot of space real quick so let's go ahead and throw away all that but what we do need is two more of these iron ingots and with the iron ingots let's go to make a realistic iron sword oh god Gosh, that thing is very HD. Does incredibly high damage and throws the enemy at a large distance. Yah ye. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we gotta fight mobs now, but I don't really see any. So instead, what we could do is probably get a lot of iron. So let's real quick do that. Oh, wait. I have a better sword. Okay. Let's try this out real quick. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was a lot of knockback. What the heck? Anyways, oh, more iron. Not bad. And with that, we should have 28. That should be enough at least for some armor. But I definitely need an entire set of realistic iron armor. Actually, something I can do while I cook this with three gold ingots, we should be able to make a realistic gold ingot, which apparently does something else as a wind drop, which it creates a static field that strikes lightning in a radius. Who needs a lightning rod anyway? So is this gonna kill me? I'm not sure. Let's put that right there. Oh, oh wait, it's gonna hurt me. Nope, nope, we're picking that up. We definitely don't need to do that again. Now let's not get ourselves killed. But while this cooks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some more iron. So give me one second, guys. Okay, so I kind of figured out how to use the pickaxe now. So now it actually mines in a three by three, which is actually pretty useful. Not bad. Right. So we have a lot of iron ingots now. A lot of realistic ones too. So in total, I think I need definitely one for a shovel and three for an axe. So let's go ahead and see if we can make a shovel with this. And yeah, we can. All right. All right. So a realistic iron shovel throws a ball of dirt, creating a slowing field of mud where it lands. Okay. That sounds very interesting. And we're not done there because after that, we can go ahead and make a realistic iron axe, which also has a warning. Apparently fells the entire tree when chopped any log warning don't use this in a wooden base exceptional at felling trees okay well it definitely looks very realistic very hd but the main thing i want to figure out is how does it work with the shovel oh oh okay we can literally throw dirt and it slows him down oh that's actually really cool oh i don't like you so i'm just gonna throw some dirt at you enjoy that dirt wait did i just go skills him with dirt okay <laughs> okay <laughs> and now with that being done let's go ahead and make some armor with four iron ingots and i guess we'll just make boots normally and with this we should be able to get some very hd looking iron boots creates a shockwave. Okay. Whenever you would normally take fall damage, flinking all nearby enemies away and crouch while in midair to double jump. What is fall damage? Okay. So, uh, all right, let's put this on and oh, yep. We get to double jump. That's pretty cool. Oh, and that's a shockwave. I don't really have any mobs to test that out on, but it already looks pretty good. So next up, let's go ahead and make the iron pants. And I'm not sure if we have enough iron for the entire set of armor, but I think we should at least have a chest plate. So with the seven ingots, we're going to be getting another set of realistic armor, which is going to be the leggings that charges towards the direction you're looking at if you crouch twice in quick succession and enemies that are hit while charging are flung and dealt damage all right so let's put this on and let's try it out oh Oh, that's so cool. The dirt attack is a little bit better, but that's really cool. Okay, next item. So now we're going to be making the very HD iron chest plate, which we're going to be needing a majority of these iron ingots. I really hope I have enough. So with eight of these, well, this should be the second to the last piece, which is going to be the very realistic iron chest plate. And so each armor piece definitely gives me a new ability with this one being that anytime an enemy hits me, they're going to be getting flung away, which yet again, very OP. Also, holy, I look so HD. What the heck? Oh, we have the perfect amount to get a helmet. Not bad. And with this final ingot, we've 
finally get the realistic iron helmet. It's a me Exastorio. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Break city block you jump into from below. Wait, is that like Mario? Oh, I'm literally Mario. And I guess just like that, we're pretty much done getting all the iron we need. And now let's go find some more gold and some diamonds too. All right, finally some gold. So how much gold do we have right now? Seven gold. And that might actually be the perfect amount to make a good pickaxe. So let's see what it does now. I guess we can go ahead and make a realistic gold pickaxe. Okay, there we go. So this one every once in a while strikes the ground, digging a large area straight forward. Okay, that sounds very OP. Fast as lightning sometimes. All right, well, let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, so it literally just goes boom, boom, boom. That's really cool. Oh wait, it's auto smelty stuff. Okay, that's actually really good. So I guess getting gold is going to be a lot more easy. I just got to actually find it. Oh! <gasps> thing. Oh, it's two of them. Apparently I found a really rare one the other day and I didn't know. So I'm going to leave them alone this time because I don't really want to ruin their habitat. And in the meantime, where is the gold? Oh, diamonds. Uh, okay. That, that works too. Gold, please. Thank you very much. Literally auto smelt. So this is going to be a lot easier than I think. Uh, five gold ingots right there. We don't really need any more copper unless there's like more realistic copper stuff, but oh my gosh. Okay. So when I double jump, I literally like mega mines. Oh, also some diamonds. Don't mind if I do. I will gladly take those diamonds. Oh, wait, we can mine bedrock. Okay. Okay. Well, two things. We got 13 diamonds now. We also literally super mine whenever we like double jump, which uh, I guess is kind of like a combination with the realistic pickaxe and the realistic armor. I got to be careful though, because we are mining bedrock and mining bedrock is not really the best thing we can do. Oh, diamonds. Uh, okay. I'm going to real quick mine all that. Okay. So literally after all that, we at least got some good stuff, including 23 diamonds. Oh my gosh. We're getting really good stuff very quickly. I'm not sure if this is very realistic, but you know, capital and stuff, you know, uh, it could be realistic. We get gold in real life, even though gold is very expensive, but we can at least make now eight gold ingots. And I guess what the realistic gold ingots, we might as well go ahead and make one realistic golden sword. There we go. Occasionally strikes the target with lightning, damaging and stunning them. Okay, so literally it's kind of like a stun sword and it says what is striking display, not bad. And we can never forget the shovel, which is now going to be creating a static field on right click that grants haste, speed and strength. Wait, what? Wait, so if I just do that, oh, haste three. Oh, that's really good. And what about the axe? I legitimately don't know how this is realistic, but now we get the realistic golden axe, which causes a series of controllable lightning strikes on right click. Oh, I am literally Thor. Okay, why not? In real life, when you get a golden axe, you become Thor. Fun fact, guys. Maybe don't try this out yourself, but maybe it works, you know? And now with the gold ingots that we have left, I guess we can go ahead and start getting all the armor. So with that being done, let's go to get some more diamonds and gold, which shouldn't be too hard because if I double jump, oh, more diamonds, sure. And it literally fortunes it up. Nice. 33 diamonds. I like 33 diamonds. 33 diamonds are perfect. Very nice. Let me know in the comments down below which realistic item you guys like the best so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and say either the copper ingot, which explodes, or the pickaxes. These are really nice right now. I think we got more than enough gold ingots, so let's go ahead and start grabbing them all. And uh, So I'm going to guess that the theme is electricity. Now we have the realistic golden boots, which says press shift while in midair to throw all nearby entities away. And when they land, they're struck by lightning. That's definitely a little bit OP. Don't mind if I do. Definitely taking that. And now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and make some pantalones, which with this, we should be getting the very HD leggings, which now when we hold shift, we're going to be charging up a very large jump. The longer the jump is charged, the farther you are launched. Okay, well, I'm apparently firework now, so might as well try this out too. And before we do anything else, let's get the entire set. So let's real quick grab all these. Let's go ahead and get the very HD chest plate. This one says sparks flick off the user constantly. If an enemy is hit by these sparks, they're slowed and weakened. So it's kind of like a force field, is it? Let's uh, double check. Oh my gosh, we look so HD right now. What the heck? And finally, with the last five gold ingots, we get the realistic golden helmet. The wearer is occasionally struck by lightning while outside, granting speed and haste for duration. So I kind of just keep getting hit by lightning. I mean, sure, why not? I guess I'll take it. All right, let's try to leap real quick. So I guess I'll go all the way up there. Oh, oh, that's really cool. Very nice. And now that we're done with that, I guess we can go ahead and move on to the diamonds here, which I'm not really sure what to expect with this one. But on the bright side, we do have 33 diamonds, so we should be able to at least make a pickaxe. So three diamonds and oh, okay. That is a very HD diamond. What the heck? They're getting more and more HD as we go. But with that being done, we now have the realistic diamond, which says right click to throw the diamond on hitting a block. All blocks in a radius are turned into diamond blocks. Okay. And on hitting an entity, the effect above occurs and the entity drops diamonds on hit. What? Okay. I guess we don't need diamonds anymore. So 
let's real quick find a mob. Oh no, my armor's killing them. Okay, so realistic diamond. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that kind of fixes our diamond situation. We literally have unlimited diamond blocks now. Oh, wrong pickaxe. Maybe it's best if I go ahead and make a normal diamond pickaxe for this one. And I guess just like that, guys, we're going to be getting a lot of diamonds that easily. What the heck? Okay. And now in a very normal way, I'm going to be having exactly 16 blocks of diamonds, which is definitely going to be more than enough to actually make all that I need to make. Oh, actually, wait, I just realized I can go ahead and make a pickaxe. Why not? Two sticks, three very HD diamonds. And with that being done, we get a realistic diamond pickaxe on right click sends forth a minion to mine a very large tunnel. Occasionally finds netherite scraps when mining netherrack. Wait, it's literally getting more and more repeat because now apparently we can get netherite from just going to the nether. But what does it mean? It has like a little mining guy. Oh, it's like a little minion. Oh, look at him go. Oh my gosh. And with all these diamonds, I guess the only real thing we really got to do is just make, I guess, 21 of these. All right. And just like that, we have more realistic diamonds than we'll ever need. Like probably too many. Now let's try the sword out. I'm actually getting shot right now. So this might be a really good time. A realistic diamond sword. Don't really know what it does. Didn't have time to read it. So I guess we'll just go after them. What does it do? I'm not sure. It's doing nothing. Oh, wait, is it like a laser? Oh, it summons this little guy. How's it going, buddy? Oh, oh, he's, he's trying to kill me. Uh, I, I'm your friend. My, oh, oh, he disappeared. Very nice. Anyways, a realistic diamond sword summons a minion on attack that fights any monsters nearby. Aura, aura, aura. Okay. And so pretty much it's a little minion right there with dual swords. It's kind of cool looking. We're going to name him Jimmy. There we go. Little Jimmy. All right. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get four more realistic diamonds and let's see what the shovel does. I haven't used a shovel in a good bit and we have some dirt right here. All right. Realistic diamond shovel on right click creates a large field that heals players and damages mobs. Oh, actually pretty useful. Not bad. And what about mining dirt? Oh, it's a normal shovel. Okay. And with the diamond axe, we get a realistic diamond axe, which occasionally summons a flurry of axes on attack. Let it rip. I'm not really sure how that works, but I guess we'll see that very soon. For now, I guess we'll go ahead and grab all these diamonds and make the full set of armor. So give me one sec, guys. Right. So this is literally diamond textured. That is insane. So what it says is, hey, hello, look, listen. And with each piece of diamond armor, we get added a diamond pixie around our player. And these pixies fire at any and all entities in a radius around the player, dealing increased damage for each each pixie. So we're going from very HD golden armor to literal diamond armor. Like we're made of diamonds now. What the heck? Okay. So I'm going to guess these are the pixies. Not bad. All right. So where is a mob I can try fighting with this? Maybe this bat? Oh my gosh. The bat died instantly. Okay. Okay. So I don't think any mob is safe. What the heck? Actually, I do need some obsidian. So this might be the best way to mine obsidian. Actually some diamonds over here. Let's do it like this. I'm going to put the water right there. Uh, get a lot of obsidian. That should be good for obsidian at least. So with that being done. I think in total we have 24 obsidian. Not bad. That's better. Before we go in the nether, I should probably get some wood. So let me go up real quick. Okay. So while we were gone, I actually realized that there was a lot of realistic items we haven't made yet. So I ended up getting a lot of cooked rabbit, a lot of steak, some potatoes, some carrots, and even some string, which we'll get to very soon. But one thing I didn't realize that we could do was with three carrots, we can actually make a very HD realistic carrot, which uh, is kind of really weird looking, but I guess we're going to eat it. Either way, consume for night vision. Mom said eating these let you see in the dark. All right, so we're not really hungry right now, so I guess we can't eat it, but I'm gonna guess it gives us night vision. But another thing we can also make is with some potatoes, we can also go ahead and make a really big potato. What the heck? <laughs> Comment down below, HD potato, if you made it this far. And it says, consume for absorption. Shame it isn't mashed. Can I eat it right now? Nope, I gotta be hungry. Well, on the bright side, we can go ahead and do another one. And this time, it'll be with a cooked bunny, where we're gonna be getting, oh gosh, realistic rabbit. Consume for a jump boost. Look at the rabbit storage. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's literally rabbit. Okay, <laughs> what the heck? And finally, the last food we can make is with three steak. And just like that, we get a nice looking steak. Not bad. Consume for regeneration, 2,000 vintage coat the booth. Wow, I probably butchered that, but you know what? It looks like a very nice piece of steak. Don't know what it does because I gotta get hungry, but in the meantime, until we get hungry, we can go ahead and make the next best thing, which is gonna be oddly some realistic string. Right click to leash up any entity. While leashed, they can be dragged around with you. And then right click again to unleash the entity. I'm gonna leash something. Let's take off the armor for now, just so I don't kill anything while I see it. But what about this spider? Let me leash you real quick. <gasps> oh, I leashed him. Oh, 
I'm tracking him. Oh, what the heck? How do I release the leash then? Oh, so it's literally like a little leash. Not bad. Oh, wait, we ran out of hunger. So I guess we'll eat the big old potato. All right, potato, give me some good stuff. Holy absorption. Okay, I definitely got to get more of those for when I fight the dragon. And with the carrot, we get night vision. Nice, not bad. Anyways, now that we have the realistic string, I guess we can go ahead and try to make a realistic bow? What? That is not very realistic at all. Fires arrows very fast. Send your enemies out in a blaze of glory. So, uh, is it like this? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure how it's very fast, but it's definitely an explosive arrow. What? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so next thing is gonna be oddly enough with a crossbow. So I think we do one of these. Then we actually use a normal crossbow in the middle. And then with two more realistic string, we should be able to get a realistic crossbow that looks just like a normal crossbow. i not sure if this is kind of a scam, but either way, it says it fires bolts that hit the target. After a brief delay, the target goes boom. So boom. No, wait, don't fall me. Oh, oh, that's actually really good. All right, well, I'll take it. Why not? And I guess with that being done, guys, I guess it's finally time to go to the nether, get some netherite items, and then we can finally get the long-awaited, realistic netherite item. So now that that's done, let's go. All right, we are inside now. I need either some piglins or some blaze rods. So where is a fortress first? I'm going to go for the netherite right after I get that. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hello, blazes. I need your blaze rods. So I am I could technically just stand here, but I want to see what the realistic diamond axe does. Literally, you'll need one more blaze rod and then we should be good. We are way too overpowered right now. Oh, Okay, last one. I think that was it. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, actually, axes. Oh, okay. So the axe ability is literally causing axes to go around me in 360 circles. 12 blaze powder, not bad. Okay, so what I gotta do now is definitely do some enterpearl trades. Where is a piglin when you need him? Oh, okay, I see some. All right, no, take that, take that, and oh gosh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Take some of those, and take some of those. All right, in the meantime, I'll eat some steak, which uh, I like mine medium and region five. Nice. Actually, while we wait for them, we might as well go ahead and start mining for the next thing. I guess let's go out of mine. Right click it. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Well, I know what it means now when it says occasionally finds netherite scraps when mining netherite because just from one mining session, we're going to be getting seven netherite scrap, which is going to be more than enough to go ahead and make one netherite ingot. And now that we know the power of the realistic diamond pickaxe, I might as well just spam this real quick and get as much netherite as I can. This is insane. Let's see how many more ingots we can make. I should probably go back to the overworld actually because uh, we can only make two netherite ingots. Okay, so nothing from this guy and this guy. Oh, okay. Wait, two sacks of ender pearls. Not bad. Now that I have everything I need, though, I should probably get out. Let's go ahead and put the blaze powder in. That's going to be 12 eyes of ender. All right, six netherite ingots, and I think we could get a little bit more. So let's real quick do that and grab some ancient debris. Can never go wrong with some ancient debris. I used to be a piece of ancient debris, but you know, then I uh, wasn't ancient anymore. So it was kind of new. So it just happens sometimes, but I'll get though. Doesn't bother me too much. But just like that, that is the ugliest way of making netherite. But just like that, like I was saying, that is going to be eight netherite right ingots, which I think we don't need any more after that. So with that being done, let's actually go back to the overworld and uh, place on the Flynn's deal. And now we're good. Here we go. Okay, it's good to be back. So something I actually forgot to do a while back that I meant to do was actually make a realistic anvil with three anvils. And just like that, we get a very HD looking realistic anvil. Hold crouch to charge up a throw. On uncrouching, the anvil is thrown. And the throw distance increases the longer you hold crouch. Okay. Turns out Steve is pretty strong. And let's see what it does. Oh my gosh, that's a very strong anvil. All right, I am definitely gonna be keeping that one. Okay, wait, so for realistic netherite stuff, do I do this? <gasps> oh, that works. That looks really cool. A realistic netherite sword, an upgraded version of the diamond sword, of course. And it says, did someone ask for explosions with that? I guess I'll just right click. Oh, okay. We now have the power of netherite blocks. What the heck? Okay, now we have a netherite soldier. Very nice. Oh, and it doesn't like bees, okay. But now that we're done with the sword, let's go ahead and do the pickaxe next. So with these two, we're going to be getting the realistic netherite pickaxe, an upgraded version of the diamond pickaxe featuring a larger dig radius and a surprise in the nether. Wait, what does it do in the nether? Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I want to go back to the nether because this is already insane. I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade everything else. We do have the axe next. So I guess now for the axe and just like that, we get the realistic netherite axe. Send netherite axe shurikens all around you. Can I ask you another question? Legit guys, I have no idea how any of these are realistic 
realistic anymore. But I guess what happens if we right click? Oh, we throw trees. We okay. Well, if we ever need trees, guys, we now have all the trees we'll ever need. And I assume that when we hit something, we'll be getting the shurikens, which is a bit wild. But with that being done, let's go ahead and get the shovel version. And just like that, we get the realistic netherite shovel, super buff radius, heal you, and kill all the stuff coming to attack you. It's in all caps now, so I'm guessing it's very serious. And it's very HD, very cool looking. Like, look at these things, guys. Like, it's I'm pretty much playing real life. Like, like look at that. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll right click. What happens? Oh, so it's definitely a bigger radius. And I'm going to assume that whatever is inside of this will pretty much die. So with that being done, and there's really only one more thing we can do with the netherite. And that's going to be with our diamond armor. Let's take it off. And now let's let them update. Cover me in debris. Very nice. Now we have every single piece of the realistic netherite armor. And they all say the same thing going A up. Oi, listen here. And here, look. Okay, so they all say an upgraded version of the diamond armor set effect featuring increased damage, range, and fire rate. So I'm guessing we get the body lasers again. Grants a special effect in the end. So this is definitely the end game armor, which I'm very curious what it does because we also have extra lines on the boots and the pants where it says could also charge like the iron leggings with increased distance and speed. Oh, that might actually be very good. And then with the boots we get can also double jump like the iron boots. No limit on the number of jumps. Okay, this is going to be very good when we put this on. Holy. All right, so we got the little force field and now we can just jump. Oh my gosh, that is very good. And we even have an explosion when we land. Nice. So now that we have everything ready, I think there's only one item we have left and that is going to be with some TNT. So let's find some TNT real quick. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's make sure not to explode it though. Is there anything? <gasps> okay, I guess we're not figuring out whatever is in the chest. Never mind. Anyways, we got the TNT at least. Now that that's done, now let's go all the way back up and actually craft it. So oddly enough, the last item we're going to be crafting requires diamonds and we have zero diamonds. That is very tragic, guys. So uh, I actually got to go down and find some diamonds real quick. Wait, is this guy going to mine bedrock? Oh gosh, if he mines bedrock, this is not good. Oh, diamonds. All right, well, we didn't have to test that at all because now we at least can get some diamonds. And so now for the final thing, all we need is four diamonds right there. And then with two TNT, we're going to be getting the final item, which is going to be the realistic TNT boots. Sprinting while wearing these boots will place lit TNT at the user's feet. Oh gosh. And blocks below the user are unaffected. Tread carefully. Wait, what? What the heck? Are these like nuke boots? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, this is not good at all. So it literally just causes TNT to happen. Definitely a little bit dangerous. So we're going to put it on the hotbar for now. Maybe we'll need it for later. But with all that being done, let's go ahead and throw the eyes of Ender and find where this portal is. Wait, where'd the eye go? Oh, that way. Okay, nice. All right, time to follow. Uh, I have Ender. Okay, I just went back and I'm going to assume that it's down here. So might as well. Let's go to use the anvil. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. So I might as well just dig straight down. I'm tempted to press right click. Ah, uh, why not? Let's do it. Oh, God. Okay, he found it. It doesn't look like he found the portal room, so he didn't break it at least. Oh, we just found it immediately. Okay, good thing I have 12 eyes of Ender. Literally, if I had one short, I would not be able to go to the end. But finally, with all that being done, guys, we can finally go fight apparently the realistic dragon, which I'm not sure what to expect, but I think we have everything we need. So, wish me luck, and here we go. Okay, we are inside. It says normal Ender Dragon for now, but sometimes it ends up being something very weird. Oh, okay, yeah, that is not the normal dragon. Well, to end off the challenge, guys, we're gonna have to fight that literally very HD dragon over there. And before anything, I think we should go ahead and break all these pillars. So let me focus on that. Okay, I think that should be it. Oh my gosh, we're doing so much damage. Literally, I can't even use my sword. This is gonna be the fastest fight ever. The dragon does look like it can pack a punch, but I think my stuff is just way too good. Wait, is this gonna be it? I think we may have just got it there, guys. And that is gonna be it for Minecraft, but we can make things very realistic. That was a very weird challenge for sure. This is Minecraft, but from one bit to 8,192 bits. Today, our Minecraft is gonna to go from this to literally this. Oh no, my computer shut down. From a one bit ugly Minecraft to a 1024 bits realistic Minecraft to even a 8192 computer killer, my goal is to complete various challenges to unlock each level of realism, but I generally don't even know if my computer will survive. So, how realistic does Minecraft get at 8192 bits? And what if we go above Minecraft's limits? Stay tuned to find out. So, when we mine one stone, we get our first advancement, which is Stone Age, and also our first challenge item is unlocked, where one advancement equals one use. So now we got a begin challenge item, which is going to be what we need to do today to go up in pixels all the way to 8,192. So let's go ahead and do the first challenge right about now. Oh, one bit challenge. Mind the correct diamond ore. And we ended up getting what looks to be like everything else in my hotbar, a diamond pickaxe. But we're supposed to mind the correct diamond ore. But which one is the diamond ore? 
ore. Wait a second. I just thought about it. Diamond ore has stone in it. This one looking like stone might be the diamond ore. So if we get this right, our realism should be upgrading. Okay, please be it. Oh yes, let's go. Correct, use this item to return whenever teleported. And so with that being done, we got the realism upgraded totem, which means we can now go from one lonely pixel to now two pixels. He found a friend. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh. So now we went from one pixel to I think two by two pixels and everything's still pretty much ugly. Anyways, with that being done, let's teleport back. Oh, that worked. Okay, so I can use the teleportation core whenever we're done with challenges and then I begin challenges once I get the next advancement, which I'm trying to think, what could the next thing be? Oh wait, I have an idea. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna get some cobblestone. There we go, love me some cobblestone. And for our next advancement, I think it might be a good idea. Let's go to get some sticks, get some cobblestone. And with the stone pickaxe, we're gonna be getting the next advancement, which with that being done, let's go ahead and do the next challenge. Whoa. Okay, this is a bit different. Wait, where are we now? We're supposed to get to the end? And so we also got a bow now and 28 arrows. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if that's the right texture, but I think I gotta shoot that. Oh, it works. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. We gotta dodge the stuff. Oh, this is sick. What the heck? Okay. And now we're getting to spitty bits. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. So we're gonna, we now gotta go up. This is the coolest thing ever. What the heck? And there we go. Nice. Another jump. Let's go down real quick. Uh, do I just jump on this? Oh, okay. So I I literally got sent to another world with this. I'm gonna guess I go on these things. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, where do I go from this now? Wait, do I go on those things? Oh, yo, this is sick. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not fall. Oh, and oh, yo. Okay, I barely missed that. And where do I go from here? Oh, we're going down. Oh, wait, is there an underground power? Oh, there is. Okay, let's not get into lava. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, wait. So I think here I gotta do like a sideways jump. Okay, we got this. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now we go to the right. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, is this like the Port. Let me go ahead and get some hard ore, because why not? We might as well get that for when we get back. Don't mind me. Now I go here, I guess. Oh my gosh. It says to the right. Okay, what is this? Oh, yo, okay. Another part. Let's do this. Go this way. There we go. Okay, just a little bit more, and then we can finally upgrade this texture pack. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Now we gotta go this way. What the heck is this thing? It's so fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. One, two, three. How did I do that? Oh my gosh. Okay, what is this now? Okay, I got this. I got this. I just gotta time it right. There we go. Oh gosh, I'm so good at this. Wait, where do I go? Where do I go? Up? Oh, it's with this thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can barely see it with the texture, but I think it's trap doors. Oh gosh. Let's do that one more time. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm so bad at this. This right here, this is the attempt. Right here, no mess ups. Yes. Okay, finally. Holy. And with that being done, that's going to be a bit upgraded, and we can finally go to four pixels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the heck is this? Anyways, now let's go back. Let me get the teleportation item. Oh, and we're back. Okay, that was quite the side mission we just did. But on the bright side, we're now up to four bits. And the next thing we're going to be going for is eight bits. So like always, we got to get an achievement. And I do got to say, some things are kind of recognizable now, even though everything's pretty ugly still. But before we do that, let's get some food and some wood. Guys, I got to say, I can barely tell what anything is. But this is coal right there. We got the coal and then we got the iron ore. So once we have this iron, we should be good to get another achievement. Oh, and there we go. Yet again, another other advancement. So yet again, let's begin the challenge and here we go. Oh no. Four bit challenge. Defeat the boss at four hearts. Wear this during the battle. Wait a second. I was about to say we don't have armor, but the one armor we get, we're now at four low res hearts and I'm used to fighting this guy, but now I'm literally one hit. Okay. Wish me luck. Okay. Okay. Wait, look, man. Look, man. I'm here just to beat you real quick. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, slam that hammer down. Let's real quick. Get a hit from behind. Oh no, 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 no. I really got to dodge every single attack. One hit guys. And I am dead. At least we get to eight bit after this. Oh, there we go. Let's go in again. Oh, another hit. Okay, he's down lower than half health. Monk, 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 monk. Yes, another slam. Oh, okay. Looks like two more hits and then we should be good. Wait, do you guys hear that? Oh, okay. I didn't think the knight was going to say that, but that's a good reminder, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to click that subscribe button and try to help us hit 5 million subscribers. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, literally one more hit, guys. Oh, yes. Okay, final slam. And just like that, that's going to be another pixel upgrade. And my goodness, way too early to do that. But on the bright side, we did get some higher res items, which is going to be the raw helmet and you can never go wrong with the axe of a thousand metals. So let's go ahead and go from four pixels now to eight. Oh, eight is great. Nice. Oh, that looks a lot better. It's not as good as 16 pixels, but I mean, with that being done, let's get back. Okay, so we're back and now we got to get another advancement to get to the 16 bit and 
no better way to do that than probably making an iron pickaxe. So with that being said, let's go find some iron, cook it, and get iron pickaxe. All right, let's get this iron. And I also kind of forgot to mention that as we progress through the tiers and get more bits, we might be getting more realism features. So like literally I might get thirst and stuff as we progress and that might be a good thing or a really bad thing. Either way though, we got our iron. Let's cook it, get our advancement, and then I guess get to the 16-bit challenge. Okay, three iron ingots, two sticks, and just like that, that's gonna be your next advancement. And so with that being done, we unlock another token to begin the challenge. So let's get our iron and here we go. Ow! So for the bit challenge eight, we gotta reach the top of this command block. Wait, so there's command block things. Did this do anything? Oh, wait, 10 diamonds. I can wait and use this for the next achievement. Anything from this one? Oh, oh, yo. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not touch the TNT one. No, 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 not a fun one. Okay, wait, did we just get something? A stack of golden carrots. Oh my gosh. Okay, these things are amazing. What about this? Okay, that's gonna be my last one. Oh, we just got bedrock. Okay, I'm not gonna touch any more command blocks, but it looks like the challenge for this one is to reach the very top. And yet again, let's go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna try doing this one without letting go of a sprint. It doesn't look too hard, so I think we can do it. So far, so good. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. I should have made a water bucket. Why do I never make water buckets for this? Okay, almost there. And just like that, pixels upgraded. That's gonna be it for the parkour. But at the end, we have a challenge complete. And is that an infinity gauntlet? Do I just break this? Wait, empty gauntlet. I'm not really sure why I get empty gauntlet. So let me go ahead and throw that away. Don't really need that. And I guess with that being done, guys, let's go ahead and finally get to 16X, which is just gonna be bare bones. Oh my goodness. Finally, guys, we are back to normal. And from here, it's gonna get crazy. And now let's go back. And we're back. Okay, so everything is 16X now. And next up is gonna be 32X. And now I'm trying to think, what's your next challenge? Actually, an easy one might be to make a bucket, which I've been needing for a while. And let's see if we can find some lava. Oh, we found lava right there already. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be a fast one. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect that. And just like that, that's gonna be another advancement. So yet again, we should be able to unlock this thing and activate it. So let's go ahead and right click this and see what our next challenge is. Can't get weirder than whatever we've already done. 16 bit challenge. Tame 16 rats before he arrives. Wait, why is that so loud? Can't get weirder than whatever we've already done. Okay, so I got given creative cheese, which instantly tames rats. Wait, can I tame you? Oh gosh. Okay, okay. I gotta tame the good ones. Well, that's one. That's two. Oh, why are there so many evil ones? Wait, I got the plague? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Why do I have the plague? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 13, 14. One more to go, guys. Come on. And yes, that's gonna be all 15. And what happens now? I gotta have the plague. Oh, okay. I was waiting literally for like four minutes and we finally got the message. Rats tamed. Summoning boss? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what is that thing? No, no, no. Okay, apparently that's a plague beast. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. Go on, rats. Get him. Yes. Okay. That's gonna be it for the plague beast. And with that being done, we got our pixels upgraded. So while we wait the plague out, let's finally get our 32 pixel upgrade. And what? the heck just happened? Things are finally gonna be ramping up. So without further ado, let's go back. Definitely one of my weirder videos. And our next order of business is definitely to get another achievement. And I'm starting to think, guys, the easiest one might literally just be by making something that might help us a lot. And that's a diamond chest plate. So let's go ahead and do that, which is gonna be good old cover me with diamonds. And now that we have the next advancement, let's get to the next challenge. Oh, so this is gonna be the 32-bit challenge where it says to reach the end again. Let the fun begin. Yo! Oh, okay. We're doing this. We got given some potions of swiftness, which I guess let's go ahead and try those. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, okay. This is actually gonna be a little bit difficult. Okay, wait. So I gotta jump on this. There we go. Then I go on this. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, let's go back on this. Okay, let's jump there. Nice. And wait, what the heck is this? Okay, okay. I'm gonna crouch there. Jump, crouch, jump, crouch. Oh my gosh. Jump, crouch. Okay, get it past me. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's pass all this. Now, where do I go? I think I jump on this thing. Oh, okay, okay. Let's jump on this. Oh, I'm on the tip. Okay, wait. Am I supposed to jump on that and get in that hole? Oh, no way, no way. Oh, that actually worked. Let's go. Yo, we what the heck? Okay, we're on the second level now. Okay, I think we're supposed to go right here. Okay, speed two. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. I think I gotta go like this. Watch me up, please. Okay, so now we go through the cave and what the heck does this open up to? Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to jump down here. Oh gosh, we got in there. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna jump down on that wiggly thing. Jump up real quick. Oh my gosh, wait, that actually caught me. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, are we supposed to be here? I'm not sure, but let's just go down. Okay, what happens next? Wait, what? Am I supposed to parkour this like lasers? Okay, we haven't been hit yet. We got this, we got this. Okay, now we gotta go this. Oh, there we go. Oh gosh, I I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do with this, but I'm just gonna go crouch under it. Please don't mess me up. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, and what the heck is this? My brain is really confused. Okay, one, two, three. Oh wait, we can literally just walk through it. I'm an idiot. And wait, what the heck do I do here now? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, okay, don't wanna hit lava. Oh, that was close. Okay, now what happens? Wait, I'm on the 
it's here. Oh gosh. Okay, we gotta dodge this. Okay, left, right. Oh, and it literally just took us down the hall all the way to the challenge complete thing. Nice. Okay. Well, with that being done, before we teleport back, let's real quick finally get to 64X, which looks pretty nice. We're getting up there, guys. Anyways, let's go back. But yet again, the focus is gonna be to get another achievement, which I'm trying to think, what is left now? Oh, we have an idea. We haven't done a shield yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a shield. And I think I just gotta block one attack. So where's the skeleton when I need him? Okay, so does this work? Oh no, it's only a skeleton? Dang it. All right, let's try to find a skeleton. Oh, wait, never mind. That actually counts too. Okay, so. And now, yet again, let's go ahead and start the next challenge. Wait, what? Um, okay, we got teleported again, and there's a sign that says, See challenge from YouTuber 1. Okay, Nestor, for your first challenge, I want you to complete this parkour in 60 seconds. Fail, and you die. Wait, 60 seconds? Okay, we gotta go. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna guess that every time I do a different floor from whatever I'm inside of, we get another YouTuber giving us a challenge. I think we are running out of time, so let's do this quick. Oh, gosh. And there we go. Okay, there goes challenge number one, and what is this now? See challenge from YouTuber number two. Hey, Nestor. Welcome to the second floor. Before you go up, you have to get through my friend here first. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Snow Queen. I've never fought this person before. And oh gosh, wait, they do good damage. Okay. okay I better have a good weapon. Oh, okay. This should do better damage. Oh, she's going in. Oh, she's stuck. She's almost down to half health. Oh, come on. One more hit. And yes. Okay. That's going to be it for the Snow Queen. And what the heck did she drop? Oh, wait, she dropped the tri bow. Okay. So we no longer need the normal bow because now we have a tri bow. So real quick, let me try out the tri bow. Pretty much shoots three arrows. Very nice. And with that being done, I guess let's climb up to the next floor, which I think it's this one right here. Okay, so was that the final YouTuber or do we have another one up here? Yep, and there we go. C challenge from YouTuber number three. Hey, Nestor. Welcome to the final YouTuber challenge. This is Jeopardy Trivia. We'll be doing three rounds of questions where they get harder and harder. Wait, what? Oh, so we're doing Jeopardy. Okay, I guess. Is that copyrighted? Oh, hopefully it's not copyrighted. But anyways, it says fill all three pedestals with heads to finish the challenge. Well, I guess since we're doing Jeopardy, let's get to the first question. Your first question is, what year was Minecraft created? Okay, so what year was Minecraft created? I'm gonna have to say 2011, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure 2011. Correct. On to the next question. Oh, sick. Okay, so we got one player head, so we can go ahead and put down the first one. Okay, and now for the next question. What friendly mob voices the gas? The gas noise. Okay, let's play the gas noise real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna guess right now, I think that's a cat. Is it a cat? Correct again. Hey, let's go again. So yet again, we got another head. Let's go ahead and place that in. And now we only have one more to go, and then I guess we complete the challenge. So let's get to the last question. What YouTuber is the building you're currently inside of? Oh my gosh. Okay, I was thinking about that too. Guys, okay. Okay, I only know of one YouTuber that's this color right now. I'm going to guess right now that this is going to be crafty. That's right. Congratulations on completing the challenge. Now you can upgrade your texture pack. Hey, let's go. Okay, so that's going to be it for the challenge. Let's go ahead and put this one last in. And now that we have that done, we get the pixels upgrade thing. And let's go ahead and get to our next texture pack, which is going to be 128X. Okay, wait, is this the stone shovel? And this is the diamond pickaxe. Okay, we can't really see what it does from here. So um, let me go back real quick. Okay. Okay, so we're back and oh my gosh, wait, the stone is definitely getting a lot more HD now. Okay, before we do anything else, let's go up real quick and see how HD things got. Like, look at that wood. Guys, 128X, very nice Minecraft. Anyways, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and get to the next advancement. And I'm trying to think, what have I not done yet? Oh wait, we could get some obsidian. Okay, let's find some lava. Let's go and grab our first thing of obsidian, which you can barely see it. And just like that, that's gonna be our next advancement. And now, let's go ahead and get to the next challenge. So 128-bit challenge, this is gonna be to loot this place. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so we don't have much time, and I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. What about this? An armored jetpack. Oh, wait, that's plus 12 armor. Way better than our diamond chest plate. I think this might be the one I grab. Wait, can I grab anything else? Oh, time is up. An army has spawned outside. Defeat them to escape. Wait, what? Oh, that's a lot of Tominators. Wait, what, what do I grab? What do I grab? Um, okay, is, is this a flamethrower? Okay, go on, flamethrower. Yeah, guys, it's not working. Is it working? I'm not even sure. Oh, wait, I think I got some. Let's go. Okay, I don't know how many I gotta beat. Oh, that one does a lot of damage. Okay, go on, flamethrower. That one guy's down. Okay, that's another one down. Oh, wait, I think when they touch this, they die. Okay, that's actually a really good idea. Come on, stand on that thing. Oh, and yes, it electrocutes them. Come on, the electricity. And just like that, that's gonna be it for the Dominators. Well, now that we're done with that, let's go back. And we're back. But now we gotta get from 128X to doubling it up to 256X. Okay, so time to think, where can we get another achievement? Oh, wait, I could still use the shield. Okay, I gotta 
get a skeleton shoot at me. Oh, skeleton. Come on, Mr. Skeleton. And yes, there we go. Okay, another achievement yet again. Let's get rid of this guy. And wait, I just realized I never changed my pack. We're actually already supposed to be at 256 sex. So let me roll quick swap. Okay, completely forgot to do that. That's my bad. Well, with that being done, we should be ready for the next challenge. But before we get to that, let me see how the surface looks like. This is starting to get really nice. The wood is nice. Even the soil. Anyways, let's begin the challenge. 256 bit challenge. Draw a 256 X item. Punishment if bad. Oh, we got a brush. Okay, so I'm supposed to draw something realistic. And what can we make that's realistic? Oh, wait, I just got inspired from the futuristic area. What if we here on the channel draw a robot? I think this might be it, guys. Okay, I'm going to make it real quick, guys. As always, guys, uh, don't, don't judge my drawing. Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm a work in progress, but it's all good. And then I guess give him a robot body. Oh, gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay, to make it even better, I'm going to say right here, I am a robot. That is the greatest drawing of all time, guys. I, I'm, I'm proud of this one. Oh, gosh. Okay. How do we die or this works? Anyways, let's go ahead and try it in three, two, one. Okay, processing drawing. Please work. Wait, drawing approved. We, we can't even see the drawing. Oh, we got a robot. Oh, that's sick. And now with that being done, we can go from this to now this. 512x toasty. Well, here we go. I'm going to click done. Oh, my gosh. Um. Okay, yep. This is 500 pixels, guys. We are nearing the 8,192. Well, you guys already know what time it is. We got to go get another advancement real quick. And what could we do that's easy? Hmm. All right, give me a sec, guys. Okay, so the next advancement we're going to be doing, by the way, look at that obsidian. Oh, it's going to be going through the portal. And I completely forgot this was a thing. Okay, here's our next advancement. And just like that, we can just jump in the nether. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin the challenge right about now. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, so 512x challenge. We got to get to the end of this. We got another potion of swiftness. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, the mal parkours I've done today. Okay, we're actually doing this pretty well. Wait, is that another dimension? What? Yo, this is sick. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, okay, okay. Let's jump there now. And now I got to get on this thing. Oh gosh. Okay, it got a little bit hard to see. So I turned it off just for now because I couldn't really see. But let's do this. Okay, we've been going at it for a while and it literally never ends. Wait, okay, how do I even do this? I think I need the potion of swiftness. Oh yes, we did it. Oh yo, that was sick. Okay. Wait, are we back at another dimension? What? I don't even know where I am, guys. Oh my gosh, wait guys. It's literally a seat. Oh my gosh, wait, we're riding it. We're riding it. Oh, this is sick. What the heck? Okay, gotta jump here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jump there. Very nice. Okay, where do we go from here now? Oh, we're supposed to go over there. Okay, okay. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Oh, okay, that was a good one. Nice, 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 nice. Let's keep going. Oh, it's like a little door segment. Oh, I went through this way too early, but we're good. Okay, nice. Oh man, where are we now? What the heck is going on? I don't even know what's going on anymore. We gotta go up. Come down, come down, come down. Oh, there we go. Yo, okay, I'm figuring it out. Okay, nice. We're on the next spot. Okay, where the heck am I now? Oh, Elytra. Okay. Do I just go through this? Okay, with the Elytra, let's time this right. Ooh. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, there we go. Nice. I kind of messed that up, but it's all good. Oh, wait, there's a sound right there. This might be the end. And hey, there we go. Finally, challenge complete. And with that being done, that's going to be pixels upgraded. And finally, guys, it is time for one of the final ones. 1024x photo realism. Okay, before we get to this one, let's get out of this challenge right about now. Okay, I lowered the render distance and also made the shaders a little bit less intense. And it still looks insane. Look at that wood. I, I just try touching my monitor to feel it. Like, what am I doing? Okay. Anyways, let's go back to the nether and do another challenge. Okay, so finally we've got another advancement. Took us forever to find a fortress. Uh, a terrible fortress. And with that being done, let's get to the next challenge. Wait, what the? Where the heck are we now? Oh! So for this bit's challenge, we gotta get to the very bottom? Oh, wait, is this an infinity gem? Oh, it's the mine stone! We're collecting the infinity stones! Oh, yo, wait, golden apples? Yes, dude, love me some golden apples. Golden beef, okay. Oh, man, okay, so now it's the blue stone, it looks like. Oh, there it is. That's gonna be the soul stone. That uh, definitely isn't blue, but it's something. Let's keep going down. There's a stone. Time stone. Nice. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're collecting all the infinity stones. So, are we going to get the gauntlet at one point? Where is the stone? Oh, there it is. Okay. On to the next room. Uh, okay. Where is the stone now? Oh, there it is. Power stone. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab that. Even an existing stone. I don't know what this stuff is, guys. Okay. Let's go to the next room. Oh, whoa. That was weird looking. Okay. What the heck? Okay. Bunch of shields. Where is the stone, though? Oh, lapis apples. Kind of curious. What does one do? Oh, all that. Okay. I actually don't want all that. I do want that, though. Space stone. Okay. Does that mean that's all the stones now? Wait, what's over here? Okay. I'm just going to fall. <gasps> Yo, I did not expect that. Wait, are we on the gauntlet now? Wait, is there something supposed to be here? Oh, wait. No, it's not there. What about this? <gasps> okay. Pixels upgraded. And what did we just get? The sword of existence. 100 attack speed. Infinite attack damage. 
removes any entity its blade touches, even the mighty beast herself. Okay, so good news is we have a really good sword now. But before we do anything, we can finally go ahead and get the next texture pack, and that's gonna be 2048X PC Go Burr. I am terrified. Let's do it. What? The books are so hd okay before my minecraft breaks let's go back okay so we're back now and oh my gosh that is so hd of bricks anyways though before we go back to the village so we can see the true potential of this texture pack let's get another advancement down our belt by fighting uh, these guys right here and i think getting a blaze rod is good oh there's one all right try bow and oh wait we got two of them okay let me get out of here real quick and let me ask the game masters what happens when i get two advancements so the game masters just told me because i got two advancements we're gonna be skipping the 4,000 bits and for a next challenge once we complete it we're going to be going straight for the 8,192x and all it says is rip generally I'm terrified but this is about to be crazy okay so we just got TP'd I broke the spotter and why are we in the stronghold already oh 8,192 bit challenge defeat the dragon warning further bits can break the PC oh my goodness all this is very HD but what's left to do guys is literally go down and fight the dragon we got our Armor jetpack, let's go down. Okay, the end. We have the sword of existence, and let's just literally hit this thing and get to the final tier. Okay, we got this. I literally just gotta left click it once. Oh, wait, and make sure it doesn't hurt me. Honestly, let's take advantage of these arrows. Okay, let's get this one out. There we go. Another one down. Oh, it's coming down. Let's go. And okay, so what can this sword do in three, two, one? Yo! Okay, that's gonna be it for the challenge. Yet again, pixels upgraded too. And it might be that time where we put on 8,192. Okay, without further ado i'm gonna put this guy on oh my goodness yo what the heck this is literally 8192 pixels that's real grass i'm gonna be trapping and making every mob in minecraft realistic but we'll be starting at zero realism first and ending out well yeah rip my pc so let me explain how this all works so right there we have a villager and in my hand we have a pencil so you already know what's coming first we gotta get some wood Okay, so first we need some of these things. And so which mob am I picking first? What about the villager? All right, you right there. You're gonna be the first test subject. So all we gotta do is real quick trap the villager. So I'm gonna put you right down there. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, how did he get through that? There we go. Okay, so this is our villager right there. Give him a name in the comments down below. And now with the pencil, we can go ahead and make it more realistic where the entire game will get more realistic. So there goes nothing in three, two, one. So I was thinking right away, why don't we add gorillas to Minecraft. So all we gotta do is first make his arms a bit bigger, make them a little bit wider, all that good stuff. Then we gotta slant him forward, fix his legs a little bit so we can make them bigger, give him some fists just like that. I guess we'll change his nose to a snout. And now we start some coloring, because uh, right now it kind of just looks like a more buff villager. Okay, let's give him some eyes and some coloring and shading. And because I'm still a little bit new to this, I have a friend that will also help with making him look a little bit prettier. And now we made the villager more realistic by becoming a gorilla at level one. So when I hit confirm, Minecraft is also about to get more realistic. So let's see what what happens in three, two, one. Oh, it's happening! The villager's now a gorilla! Yo! Oh, and now Minecraft is a tiny bit more realistic. Wait, every villager in Minecraft's now a gorilla. Hello? Oh my gosh, wait, they trade bananas for items. Um, and I think I'm supposed to do something with the houses now. Oh, wait, I was given banana seeds. Makes banana trees. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to make the houses into banana trees. I got you, brother. All right, so we need to put the dirt right there and then make a hoe. Okay, new plan. We need some crop stuff. Oh, this might be a nice cave right here. Get some coal. All right, let's grab that. Make one bucket. All right, let's get some water. Get some torches going. And so now we put the torches there. Break all this wood. Then put all the water here. All we gotta do is till the land. And without further ado, did we just put the banana seed? Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, yo, we got a banana tree. And I got a banana. And so that was only house number one. Oh, wait, and so with the bananas, can we make more seeds? Oh, we can. Yes, 12 banana seed trees. So again, water, dirt. Can't forget about the torches. And we grow the banana tree. Oh my gosh, holy. All right, that's two down. And we have a few more to go. All right, now onto the next one. Holy, this house is almost broken. All right, yet again, more tree. That's another one done. Get some more of the banana. Minutes. Yet again, let's go inside, till the grass, put the water right here. Can't forget about the torches. And now it grows. Here we go. Water again. Go inside the house. Dirt, water, till, run away, and boom. It's literally becoming a jungle right now. Okay, final house. Yet again, guys, you already know what's about to happen. We put in the water. We till the land. Can't forget about the torches. And now we run away. And this should be the final 
tree. Oh, and now the gorillas are hungry. Feed the village. Oh, and we got a brand new craft on the screen, guys. Where I gotta use the bread I have with the bananas. Let's put them together and we get banana bread. All right, my fellow apes. Here you go. Banana bread. Oh, and they're eating. Yes. Are they all satisfied? Oh, pencil recharged. So what the monkey's done, why don't we do another mob? And because I hear them right here, the next mob will make you even more realistic is the cat. So step one, we need a fishing rod. Oh, and we got a mine shaft right here. Let me real quick grab these. Then make one fishing rod. And now we fish. That is some beautiful water. Yes. And now we tame a cat. Okay. Come, come over here. Oh, yes. We got ourselves a cat. And now with the cat, let's go ahead and make the game more realistic. Okay, we're back at it again, making mobs more realistic. And this time, we are going to make the cat into a lion. So straight up, we are going to be making this guy much bigger. First, I'm going to lift him up because he's going to be a little bit bigger. And then we got to make his front legs bigger so it actually touches the ground. And with big legs, you need a bigger body. So bigger body. And because of how feet work on cats, we got to put a little bit more detail on those back legs. Can't forget about the big old paws. And I'm going to give its tail a poof at the end. All right, now for the head. We're going to make the head a little bit bigger. Hopefully, this kind of looks decent right here. And lions have manes, so we're making a big old mane. Now, let's add some color. So, I'm going to go ahead and put whatever color I guess works best for a lion. I, I guess this would work right there with the orange. And we, of course, got to color his ears. There we go. And okay, let me fix him up a little bit, and it'll look decent. Trust me. Three, two, one. And there we go. Now, we have a moralistic lion. So, let's see what happens when we click confirm in three, two, one. Oh, gosh. What's happening? Oh, we got a lion. Oh, sneak away and design a mob weapon. Okay, well, things got a little bit more realistic and now it looks like I should probably not wake that up. Oh, wait, and we launched it for a new craft on the screen, which I think I'm supposed to fish for the next thing I make. Oh, that might be a good spot right there. Okay, so if we put one fishing rod and one string, we get the realistic fishing rod apparently. All right, I'll go with it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna crouch away from the lions. Why do they sound like that? And now we're just gonna go ahead and fish and hopefully get something good. I'm gonna do this over here. Oh, we got a cow. So it's a special fishing rod. How's it going, buddy? I don't know if I can make a cow into a weapon. So so, how about a fish? Can we get a fish? We, we, we got a boot. Is, is that really a boot? Literally a boot. Okay, anything else? Oh, we got a god! Oh, wait, it's stuck right there. Hold on. So, if we trap it right there and we get the pencil, I think it's time we up the realism again. Let me right click you. Here we go. And now it's time we do this again, guys. Okay, so so far we made the mods more realistic, but they never really had a purpose. This time we're gonna be making a swordfish. So, I've already gone ahead and moved the tail back because we're gonna make the body longer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete one fin. Let's move it to the side, make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna make the top fin even bigger because it's going to be like that special swordfish fin. And of course, because it's a swordfish, we got to move the nose out and make it really skinny, like, like a proper sword. We got to make it sharp. Okay, let's make the body fatter, duplicate the fin over, make the head a little bit bigger. Probably got to make better body segments. I think this could kind of work. Let's put that into the actual tail, but we got to make the tail bigger for sure. Okay, let me do that. And now I've added bones to the tail's top and the bottom, which I'm seeing it now. Let me fix the head and nose section to look a little bit better. All right, I added a bottom fin. Okay, and because the color is really off right now, let's actually make it like the ocean deep blue blue add a fin color too and i'm gonna have to actually give the fins a proper shape right now okay it doesn't look the very best right now i'm gonna make this one look a little bit better and watch the magic in three two one and there we go that's a more realistic swordfish all right let's get ready to click confirm build and remember the game is about to get even more realistic you might hear my pc get really loud because i might lag oh here we go oh and all the fish became a swordfish yes oh my gosh the game is getting really realistic okay um so do i wake them up oh oh, oh gosh okay okay Okay, Lion Army, they smell the fish. Okay, um, I think we're fighting these guys. Okay, they're coming. I created you guys, but you guys are not the best resolution anymore. Let's go ahead and take these guys down real quick. And I think that's a job well done. Oh, wait, pencil recharged. Oh, so yet again, we're about to make things more realistic. This is only like level three. My goodness. Like, look at that wood. So as for the next thing, let me go to the cave real quick. <gasps> we got one. Yes. Okay, let me real quick grab you. There we go. And this is what we're gonna do real quick. I'm just gonna mine a little area right here. And guys, this is gonna be the next one. We got a little axolotl, and I have an idea for what we're gonna make with them. So Let's get started to drawing. And so we have a pink axe loader right here. I know it was yellow, but it's gonna be pink. And what I'm thinking for this guy is we're gonna make an alligator. So let's start by deleting all the legs, deleting the tail, and we're gonna make the body longer and bigger. We'll make the face a little bit longer. We'll add the start of the nose for now. Extend it a little bit because they got the big old nose. And we're gonna extend its body into a tail shape thingy. All right, let's make the first leg in front, and then the three finger claws and one thumb claw. Because uh, you know he can high five you and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's copy that to the other side, copy it to the back, and we'll move it a little bit back. And now we need the teeth. The teeth is very important. So let's put in all those teeth. They 
got to be very nice and white. Uh, to be fair, they're, they're more like dirty. It's an alligator. But now let's actually make him look like one by coloring him in dark green. There we go. That's a little bit better. And now for the eyes, I guess we'll go with the red. Oh, and this guy needs to breathe. So some nostrils would probably be important for him. And okay, and it doesn't look like a great alligator. But as usual, I'm going to do some touch-ups. And we're going to make him into a proper alligator in three, two, one. Holy, okay. Things are a little bit more HD now. And the alligator seems to want something. Huh? Uh, hello? Oh, I think I just got munched. Oh, no. Alligator's belly. Find a way out. Of course, I just got eaten. Okay, well, I'm going to take some of his water inside of his stomach, but this might be a problem. Okay, I'm just going to jump from here, and I can already hear my PC. It is popping off right now. Oh, gosh. What's in here? Oh, weed seeds. Am I supposed to do something here? It's like a little boat. Oh, speedy chicken. Maybe I got to get him over there? Okay, speedy chicken, I'm going to come and save you. So this will... What the heck? Okay, but, but he's already like, jumping all around. What the heck is wrong with him? All right, I guess I don't need to save you. Just get to the other side. Chicken, can you come this way? Okay, so while he comes over here, it says, find the hidden lever. Uh, um, that, that wasn't very hidden, baby. It was like right there. <laughs> Okay, let me just real quick press that. Oh, and it opened for the next spot. Oh, and it's a chicken maze. All right, buddy, come over here. He's, he's trying his best right now. All right, straight this way. I'm gonna need you to go in here. And so this will be the chicken maze thing. Go in there, go in there. Okay, let me block him off. And now follow me this way. Oh, it's working. Yes. Okay, so I just gotta put it right over here and then we can get out and use the pencil again. Okay, let me put him there. No, come on, one block, one block, one block. You got it, you got it. Come on. All right, you know what? We're doing it like this. There we go, it counts. Oh, oh, this is what I get for doing that. All right, Mr. Chicken, sorry about that. And anyways, what do we have here? Don't touch the acid. Oh, okay, let me time this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, it missed. Let's go. And we're good. Holy. And now we're at the tongue. Do I like hit this? Oh, wait, what? It's a wand. Or is this like a thorn? Oh, oh, it is a thorn. And now try tickling to escape. Oh, wait, how do I do that? I just swing. Oh, yo, it's laughing. What the heck is it? Okay, we're being launched out. Oh, we got out. Yes, and pencil recharged. Where did the crocodile go? You know what? Better if we don't see him. Now with the pencil recharged, though, things are about to get even more realistic again. But maybe this time, let's do a creeper. Oh, and then we have the next mob, guys. Okay, so I have a bit of a plan for this one because it is a creeper and a creepers explode. First, we got to make a hole. So let me make a hole right here. And now we gotta make sure it doesn't explode us. So this is probably really dumb. It's oak planks over lava, but I need to make a bridge straight for him to go over here. Okay, come straight this way. Oh, 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 he's coming, he's coming. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. Straight this way, and yes, we got him. Wait, no, we left that there. No, no, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Let me try that again. Okay, creeper right there. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, we gotta be quick, guys. Let's make the hole. And now, just to get this guy inside. Ooh. No, 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 no. Really? Okay, round number three. This is the one. I need to draw you to make things more steep. No, 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 no. Don't go that way. Okay, I'm a pro at this, guys. I'm a pro. Woo! Yes! Oh my goodness. And now without further ado, let's right click you. And so now this is the creeper. And I was thinking this whole time, we're gonna be making him into a skunk. So to begin, all we gotta do is take his body, make it a little bit flatter, delete all the legs, make a new back leg. And we gotta add that curve into that back leg. So uh, we'll, we'll match that. You know, you know how skunks are. Let's copy that over to the other side. Finished up his body shape. It's kind of a little bit curved because uh, it's skunk. And of course, a skunk has fur. So let's get some fur around his neck. Right here, we have the first front leg. Gotta have the ears. Good old snout. And the most important part, a good old tail shape that, um, it's kind of like a little wave and then it goes down. Yeah, it kind of looks right. And now to add some new texturing. All right, let's make that all black. Add some white stripes. Finally, the eyes. And now with some final touches and shading, we have a skunk. I'm very happy with this one. All right, let's click confirm in three, two, one. Oh, and things got even more realistic. Oh, we got the skunk. All creepers are now skunks. Okay, so what does it do? Do I talk to you? Oh, okay. Um, apparently now I'm sneaky. What the heck? Build a bathtub? Okay, I was gonna say I don't really got to do that, but we're at three hearts now. So let's go up real quick. Okay, it looks a lot better up here. My goodness. Anyways, though, we got to begin building the bathtub just so we can get the stink effect away. All right, so I really don't know how to make a Minecraft bathtub except by just making a square. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to place a bunch of water. So this might be a good time for water montage. Uh, unlimited water source. And we got a bathtub. Hey. Okay, so do I just wash myself now? All right, let's clean up. Here we go. Oh. There's a step two. Step two, heat the bath. Oh, it's like a hot tub then. Hold on. Okay, so what we can do to heat the bath though from the bottom then is first we gotta make a little hole down here. 
Okay, that should be good right there. And now we need a lot of netherrack. I know a place. Okay, there it is. But look at these leaves. What the heck? Anyways, let's get the netherrack right here for the hot tub. And my goodness. Okay, this is getting crazy right now with the realism. Oh, and then the chest we got. Normal golden apple. Not bad. And some obsidian. And now we need one flint. All right, let's get the gravel. Come on, one flint. Oh, that was quick. And so now we can make a flint and steel. And at the bottom of here, all we do is place down the flint and steel. And we can start making all the fire wave we need. I think that should be enough right there. And I think we have a hot tub. Uh, do I just jump in again? Nope. There's a step three. Add soap. And we just gotta do crap for the soap on the screen right now, which we oddly enough need milk and flowers. Good thing I didn't make cows realistic yet. All right, Mr. Cow, let me grab milk. There we go. That's one milk. And I think these are the flowers we need. Oh my gosh. All right, let's collect as many as we can. That should be nine. And with this realistic crafting table, let's go to make soap in Minecraft. Oh my gosh, there it is. Straight up soap. Wow. All right. Now back to the hot tub. All right, and just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and make a diving board right here. There we go. Let's throw the soap in. And we got bubbles. All right, we're jumping in. Yes. Pencil recharged, and I'm no longer stinky. Okay, so now that the pencil's recharged, what do we do next? Honestly, let's go back to the caves. Okay, we found a bat, and all I gotta do is, I think, right-click it. Okay, so now that we're doing the bat, I was thinking we need another realistic flying creature in Minecraft where the bats are real, but what about owls? So let's go ahead and begin by deleting the tail, because owls have a bit of a different tail, making the body thicker. Let's rotate the body and wings a little bit, move the head where it should probably go for an owl, and then we'll make the body longer and add a tail shape. Let's add three tail feathers, because that's kind of like how my reference looks, and we can start on the leg right here, and then at the very end, we did three little claws. All right, just gotta duplicate that, delete one wing, and now we're gonna get a new wing shape with some cubes. Let's add in the beak, that's very important, and now we'll delete the old texture and put on the new texture. For the owl, I'm thinking a goldish brown. I think that would be very solid, and we can't have an owl without eyes, so let's add some proper eyes. And now for the best part, let's add some shading and darken the eyes yet again. Okay, let's add some finishing touches, and now we have a pretty good owl, I'd say. So without further ado, let's go to confirm this in three, two, one. Oh, it's working! Oh, and we got an owl! Yo! Also, uh, yet again, things are more HD. Oh, wait, build bookshelves for the owls? Is, is that all you want? Okay, so since he wants bookshelves, I think I know a place. Let's go up real quick. Oh my gosh, look at these ladders. What the heck? Anyways, we don't have HD bookshelves, but we have normal bookshelves, because this will do. This should be enough, I think. I, I hope so, because I don't know really how many books the owl wants, but we'll get enough for a wall. Yeah, that should be good. No, we need wood. All right, I built the street, and I can break it. That should be enough. And so now we can go ahead and do this. I think uh, we just do 10 right there, then put the books, and we got eight bookshelves. Now let's go back to the bat, or the owl. Look at the guy, he's adorable. All right, so I, I guess I'll put it right here. Um, We'll do a little area right there. And last one, and Mr. Owl, are you happy? He's, he's all the way over here, so I don't think he's even paying attention. Oh, he's seat posing. What's he doing? Is he going to the books? Oh, wait, you opened a portal. Yo. Oh, oh. And he went inside. I assume I gotta go inside of there then. All right, I gotta recharge my pencil somehow. Let's go in. Oh, what the heck? The hidden library. Oh, whoa. There's a big old bird. Bring me a storybook. What the heck is a storybook? Holy bookshelves. Okay, so we got a parkour right here. A uh, sheep thing over there. And what's over here? Oh, it's a puzzle thing. Hold up. I'm gonna do this one real quick. Okay, what is this exactly? Is this like a book thing? Oh, hold on. We're already doing it. Guys, I'm crazy at this. Okay, that's gonna be the corner right there. It's literally just books. I feel like I'm in school right now. Okay, turn that around. And last one. Oh, it worked! We get chapter one! Okay, and so chapter one is only part of the book, so I assume I gotta get all the chapters where the next one can be this parkour. Also, I should have really bought a water bucket, but yet again, I always forget to bring these things, so I'm kind of stuck doing this. On the bright side, my PC isn't dying anymore, because I don't think it's uh, that big of a world. Oh, and what is this? Barnes and Noble. Hello, Barnes and Noble, what's up? Answer question. All right, uh, from Noble or Barnes. Wait, whose nose grows when they lie? Okay, definitely not Dumbo. It's <laughs> SpongeBob, no, it's uh, definitely Pinocchio. And we get chapter three, nice. And then finally, a leap of faith. Uh, what the heck is a leap of faith, huh? Is it all the way up here? Oh wait, we're going all the way up. We're going to the top of the bookshelf. And so do we just jump down? Oh, it's to that. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, Woo! we did it. And that's chapter four. Okay, we got one, three, and four. And number two should be at the sheep. Let's just go this way. Okay, sort the sheep. So we have blue wool, yellow wool, and red wool. So do they follow their respective wool? Let's start with blue. Oh, they do. All right, blue sheep straight this way come, come over here yep there, there we go all right that's the first one done now we go for the red sheep all right come on straight this way guys also the wool looks so hd my goodness okay okay come in here there we go that's four done and now finally with the yellow wool let's get this guy and this guy over here oh and these guys are really scattered my goodness all right gentlemen right in here and we're done and from the middle we get chapter two all right let's put those together and the book is between the pages by author who do i just give it to him oh wait 
We can ride him. Yo. Oh, and I just got teleported. Oh, and we're back. Oh, and pencil recharged again. Nether mobs unlocked. Oh, I think we're going to the nether now then. All right, let's go back to that portal. This level of HD is insane. What the heck? All right, well, on the bright side, we do have the two obsidian that this place needs. So all we got to do is go all the way up here. Place that there. One, two. Oh, we need two more. Might need some diamonds real quick. Oh my, wait, is this diamond? Oh, yo. Oh, wait, what is this diamond vein? What the heck is this? I don't even know how rare that is. But now we have eight diamonds. And without further ado, with the broken crafting table, let's make a diamond pickaxe. One diamond pickaxe. And now let's get obsidian. All right, one obsidian there. Another one right there. Last one right there. And now we can go in the nether. All right, let's go find a blaze. Okay, now that we're in one, the nether looks insane. What the heck is this? And my goal is find a blaze. Okay, let's find a fortress first. Okay, this should be what we need. Okay, could I take fall damage here? Woo! We're good. Okay. Oh, and we already have a blaze rod. So what we can do is... Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what? Let me cover you up. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Golden apple came in clutch. I'm using wood right now to cover him up, but this should be good enough. Okay, so if we do that right there, and then I just grab him with the pencil... Oh, yes! Okay, so my goal is to make this blaze not into a new fire creature, but into a real animal called the wasp. So first, we gotta give him a body. Let's delete most of his legs, because wasps don't have that many legs. And we'll use one of his rod things as a base from one of the legs. Let's add copies for six legs on the wasp. And we're also going to use a rod to make the antenna. All right, let me copy that over. Give him the good old mouth pincer things. And I'm going to add some blocks to the legs for a better shape. We'll also have wings. So we got to add some shapes for the wings. It's going to look a little bit rough, but we're trying our best here. And then big old blocks for the wasp sides. Now I got to give him kind of like the stinger butt shape. Yep, there we go. Now for the actual stinger. And now for a new wasp texture. Let's color it mostly be yellow, gray stinger. Then I colored some of the back parts. Let's erase some of that wing texture. And I've been trying a bit to get a good shape. So we redid it and it looks okay. Okay, now I'll clean it up a little bit later, but let's add some stripes first and then some shading. Now let me fix this up. It's gonna take a bit a little bit, but here we go. In three, two, one. I mean, it's pretty good. All right, let's click confirm and oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and everything got a little bit more seen. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Follow the wasp? Oh my. Wait, it's a ball of them. Yo, where are they going? Okay, okay. Apparently there's a wasp home. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Lead the way, my friends. Lead the way. But, but don't go too fast because I can't fly. Guys, we got led to this and this might be the hive. Where the wasps go? Uh, wasps. Oh, wasps were angry and very strong. What's that noise? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. It looks like it's a bit of a maze. We're going in, guys, and we're just gonna go for whatever we need. Oh my gosh. Wait, this might be the chest room. Okay, what's the chest? Oh my. Okay, that is uh, very good. My goodness. All right. That is definitely enough to go to the stronghold. So the final mob we're trying to make realistic is gonna be the dragon. That being said, let me get out of here without probably getting stung. Okay, let's just get out of here. And I think we're good. Now on to the next thing. Let's just Let's get out of here and go back to the world. Okay, we are back and oh, pencil recharged. Craft a mirror to edit myself. Wait, what? We just got a brand new craft and we're the next realistic thing. Okay, so the main thing we need right now is then glass. All right, let's go find some sand in this really realistic forest thing. One sand, one very HD furnace. Then we cook the sand. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and make the blaze powder, combine these two, and we got the eyes of Ender. 13, nice. One glass, there we go. And so now to make a mirror, which I think we just do this. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I think what I'm supposed to do is I put this in my offhand where I'm pretty much looking at myself and then I pencil myself. All right, there goes nothing. Okay, so this time we're going to be using Blender where we have an OBJ ready and I'm just going to import it into Blockbench, delete the old model, and it's going to be a few steps. First, we need some quick hair. Then we're going to make a blank texture and paint it black for the suit. Get some black hair, give myself a good old tie, hands and feet. Oh gosh, this is looking like an abomination. Okay, let's have the eyes, then a face. You could call it the face. I tried to make the eyes a little bit better. Eyes are hard. Okay, you know what? This is this is something else. Go ahead and give this abomination name in the comments down below, but let's see if it works in three, two, one. Oh, is it working? Oh my gosh. Wait, why is everything so beautiful? Ultra realistic. Fight the ender dragon now? Wait, did I change? Oh my gosh. This is horrific. <laughs> Okay, we, we really are doing this right now. It looks like I got 12 end portal frames given to me as my reward for becoming this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and place the eyes of Ender. And I think I'm meant to pencil the dragon soon. I got my swordfish ready. Doesn't look like a swordfish anymore because it's gotten so realistic. Oh, and here we go. Okay, we got the dragon up there. I just gotta go all the way up. Oh, there it is. All right, Mr. Dragon, I'm coming in. No crystals, so I assume it's a special one. Okay, so I'm gonna try drawing on it soon, but oh my gosh, hold up that. It does a lot of damage. Okay, let's do a couple hits. This does insane damage. All right, I don't wanna kill 
built, though. Oh, and now Pencil Recharge try editing the dragon. And I just need this guy to perch. Come on, buddy. Oh, here he comes. Okay, I'm just gonna go right under him, and we're gonna edit him. Here we go. Yes! We're gonna be doing the dragon. And I'm thinking, why don't we do a real dragon called the Komodo dragon? So first, let's remove the wings, delete the tail. This is probably gonna be a hard boss, isn't it? But next up, let's delete the spikes on the back. Don't really need the neck for a Komodo dragon. And let's move the head into place and scale it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna fix the nose a good bit to make it a little bit more realistic. Remove the front legs. Then we're gonna make the back legs a little better in lizard shape and a lot smaller. All right, let's add some claws. Copy to the front legs too. Fix the front leg shape. And I'm gonna give him a better body shape so it feels more like a Komodo dragon and not like a dragon dragon, right? All right, we need the tail. And let's go ahead and delete the texturing because this looks really weird. And now make it a lightish purple for the ender colors. We'll do some purple pink eyes. And now we have some basic shading. All right, let's fix this guy up a little bit more. And we have a Komodo dragon. Let's try it in three, two, one. Oh, it's working. Come on. And oh, there it is. The Komodo dragon. Okay, swordfish. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? How much range did I give this guy? Can I even walk into him? Okay, nope. We got a literally range fight. All right, let me just do that real quick. Oh, wait. And make it weaker with the pencil. Okay, let's try that then real quick. Oh, wait. It's standing still now. Okay, I'm going to go up to it. And let's draw. Okay, one last time, guys. Right now, you know what? I'm going to make it real quick. We're going to remove his legs, remove the body, and I'm just going to connect a skinny part of the tail to the head. And now you guys probably already know what this is. But with some fangs, we have a snake. Um, maybe we'll fight the snake now. Okay, let's run back in. Please, please, please work. Oh, is it going to backfire? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, wait, snake. Wait, why is it running away? Mr. Snake, no, get back here. Is it going to fall off? Oh my gosh, I think we beat the game. Right. What the heck is going on with this video? This is Minecraft, but everything I touch turns realistic. Today, my goal is to turn the entire Minecraft world into real life. What? From every block to every mob to even myself? My goal is to fill up the realism bar to 100% and use any abilities I get along the way. But as I get closer to 100%, things might get really weird. So, what happens when Minecraft becomes 100% realistic? Stay tuned to find out. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be our Minecraft today. Though things feel a little bit weird. Oh, yeah, that was only a green screen. But for the real challenge, we're gonna be turning Minecraft into a realistic world with the power of our feet. So, everyone where we're going to be touching is going to be turning into a realistic block from the grass to the dirt, literally everything around us. And if you look at the top, we have a bar where it's world turn realistic 0%. And now that we're 1%, we actually have a bit of a special thing where the game masters told me every 20%, I'm going to be changing shader packs from 1%, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, all the way to 99.9%, .9%, which just says a warning. What's the warning? Who knows? But let's go ahead and get to 1%. Also, uh, ignore that I touched the negative 1%. Oh, definitely looks a lot more realistic. And we also got a brand new mission that says make villagers realistic. Okay, I guess we just got to go all the way over there. Oh, wait, I got money. I don't even know how I got money. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's literally me. And I literally have feet. Realistic feet, just like a hobbit's. What? What is this video right now? Does the house even become realistic? <gasps> the house becomes realistic. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, I'm touching the house and it's becoming into realistic cobblestone. And we even have realistic wood. Do we have realistic sheep? Is that a, is that a thing? Realistic sheep? Oh my gosh. We have realistic sheep. <laughs> It's so ugly, though. Oh, gosh. Um, Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Anyways, I'm supposed to make villagers realistic, so do I just go up to the student? Oh, wait, what? That That's a realistic villager? Um, hello? Ow! That is terrifying! Can I trade with you? Oh, I can trade with them. So the money I get from turning villagers, I can use to get realistic items, which I definitely can't afford, just like real life, and also a iPhone 15. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Why not? And also, I can buy a Nokia by getting Bedrock, and Bedrock becomes into the market phone? What? How does that even work? Let me real quick buy one bedrock. And with the bedrock, I guess let's buy a market phone. So what does the market phone do? Oh, it summons all the Steves I made. Uh, I guess why not? Steve, meet Steve. And what about the iPhone 15? And of course, with the iPhone 15, I subscribe to Exostorial, which you guys can go ahead and do that right now if you guys are trying to help us hit 4 million subscribers. But anyways, let's go back to converting villagers. All right, you become an HD, Steve. Wait, do trees work too to become HD? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is incredible. Wait, what the <laughs> I gotta get wood, but what? Looking at the difference between normal grass and HD grass is literally insane. Okay, let's get back to the villagers and see what exactly happens once we get all of them to be realistic. Is HD cows a thing? Oh my gosh, realistic cows are a thing. What the? <laughs> Okay, where are the villagers, though? We're almost done, and I really want to see what happens when we finish this challenge. Uh, I see villager and... Wait, why did my screen go black? Village realism upgraded. Ow! Um, so not only are the textures I walk around are going to be realistic, the chickens are also realistic, and now we have a full neighborhood. Nice! Anyways, though, we did get our wood, so let's go ahead and make a crafting table and get started with the actual challenge, because we also got to beat Minecraft. Wait, what's a realistic table? Ow! 
Nice. And do I just get a realistic wooden pickaxe or should I trade for one? I mean, I have $45. Can I afford for one? Oh, that's expensive. But wait, I just hovered over the wooden pickaxe and because I touched it, now it's a realistic wooden pickaxe. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go caving real quick. Okay, so we found a cave, but I just noticed something. We have a thing called perks and on it, it actually shows future things we can get like a realism ray, a realistic hand and a realism nuke at 75% and even a moon. So I guess selfies stay tuned for that because we have a lot of things to make realistic like look at that realistic dirt we got realistic stone as we enter oh my gosh okay so we're gonna get realistic cobblestone there we go we, we got the cobblestone even though it looks like normal cobblestone okay so now i also want to test realistic stone tools so uh i guess let's go ahead and do that real quick wait realistic stone axe does this work hey look at that okay so even a realistic stone axe which is pretty big anyways let's go to mine this iron which i guess in realism it auto cooks i mean i'm not complaining also let me real quick call up the market real quick uh hey Hey guys oh wait oh no 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 realistic creeper let's uh get rid of you i'm gonna go ahead and buy some burgers some burgers would be nice and actually wait how much money do i have oh wait, i have a stack of money but literally i can just buy bedrock wait can, can i make bedrock realistic oh <gasps> oh that's sick okay realistic bedrock i love it and i guess with that being done let's go ahead and make an iron pickaxe and make a realistic iron pickaxe love to see it and so far we're only six percent up so we definitely got to find ways to make realism happen more easily actually hold on so you guys can see better let's Let's make the brightness a little bit better. Okay, yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, I got you guys. Wait, are the Steve's talking to each other? What are you guys saying? Uh. Oh, like the video? We're trying to go for one like. I mean, why not, guys? Go ahead and listen to the Steve's. Let's also, uh, you know, make it make this cave look a little bit better. Maybe it'll be easier if I'm on the surface. So give me one sec, guys. Let's go up real quick and see what we can do. Okay, we're at seven percent now. We're actually doing pretty good here on the surface. And oh my gosh, obsidian is shiny. We are making a shiny road right now. That is amazing. Okay, I'm trying to make as much as real as I can. We're up to eight percent, but I guess let's make the shape realistic too. There we go, realistic sheep thank you for the money i appreciate it and oh okay so at 10 percent, we get something else to do and it seems like bob the builder needs my help wait what bob the builder summoner place in the village i mean this was the village it's just more realistic now so i guess bob hey what's up buddy nestor long time to see you know i can fix this place up for you if you get me the materials i need oh i gotta get him stuff okay so i gotta get 32 iron ingots which we have 12 right now okay so let's go back to the caves and i guess get the realism up even more okay this is a pretty good cave also i realize when we touch the iron ingots they become into really HD iron ingots. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn as much iron as we can. We'll get all the iron ingots we'll ever need. And then slowly but surely, we're gonna get to that 100%, guys. And, and and honestly, that's all I care about right now. Also, this is a beautiful cave. Oh my goodness. With our realistic eyes, everything looks much better. Okay, we have an 18 right now. Oh, nice. Okay, we got realistic gold too. Not bad. Okay, let me, I guess, grab that. We might need that in the future. All right, Mr. Bob, we got you all the iron ingots you're gonna need. I got 36 in total. I kind of wanna see if I'm gonna make realistic armor or something, but now we need it's burgers. You know, I'm starving. This work sure takes it out of you. Let me real quick call the crew. Okay, let me get you, Mr. HD Steve. And I guess let's buy just as many burgers as we can. I do want to save up though. Here you go, Bob. And glad I could help you out. See you around. Oh, and he's gone. We got some money, which is pretty good. And wait, X Nest Studio has been founded? Turn the village realistic challenge completed. Ow! Oh, okay, that's a lot more stuff we can make realistic too. So we can definitely turn the house into something really realistic, but we should probably get out of here and I guess just appreciate what we made. Oh, wait, I just realized, guys, as I do more challenges, the area we're converting into realism is getting bigger and bigger. Interesting. Oh, and we're almost at 15%. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So at 15%, we get the realism ray, which is literally a ray that shoots a ray of pure realism particles. Okay, so normal tree, HD tree. Oh, that's going to help me a lot. We're getting stuff that's going to help us a lot more get making everything realistic. So why not? Let's just spam as much as we can on the city. Also just found a desert and it works on the desert. Very nice. But let's just get to 20% and then go back to the village and see if we can make that even more realistic. Okay, we're almost at 20%. We're getting there. Come on, feet, get a 20%. Also, Minecraft should be looking a little bit more realistic. And hey, there we go. Okay, looks like the town is becoming more of a city. Build some skyscrapers to help out. Guys, we literally got a skyscraper. Wait, so I can just place down skyscrapers? Do I just right click? Oh, holy, okay. Yep, that, 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 that's very big. How many am I supposed to make? Do I just keep placing them? Okay, I got skyscraper there. Oh, Oh gosh. Okay. 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 Oh, and I think that was enough. I guess skyscraper challenge complete. We're, we're kind of stuck inside here and also I'm making everything realistic. Let, let, let me get out real quick. Oh wait, they're different skyscrapers. Okay. So that's one type of skyscraper and that's the other one. Nice. Okay. Our village is definitely getting somewhere, I guess. And now with that being done, we got to get five more percent so we can get the next realism TNT. And the best way to do that is 
probably gonna be in the cave. So let's go back down. I gotta get some diamonds. Oh, wait, mine shaft. Oh, look at the wooden planks. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, the mine shaft might be a good spot to literally make everything realistic. I'm liking this. Okay, I'm touching everything. Let's get our ray gun out real quick. Realism ray, where we're doing our thing. Okay, realism ray. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Um, and just aqua affinity book. Okay, if you made this far in the video, guys, comment down below the aqua affinity book. Not because of a real reason, just just for no reason. And glow berries, uh, we'll, we'll never make those realistic. So let's get past this real quick. Get our final percent. That is beautiful. What the heck? Okay, and this should be a nice area. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so now we found realism TNT, which is a really HD TNT. Nice. For all my explosive realism needs. Maybe let's go to the surface and see what it does. I guess no better place than a mountain. So what happens when I right click this? Oh, oh, that's sick. Wait a second. That might be the new way, guys. Hold up. Oh, it's rainy realistic TNT. Let's go. Oh, oh okay. We are up now to 27%. I am going to spam this thing and get straight to 30. Go, my TNT. Okay, so 29%. Oh, and 30%. And there we go. The city is growing, but now it needs some restaurants. Uh, Mr. Beast Burger's pop-up? Wait, what, what, what type of realistic thing is this? Okay, let's go back to the village real quick. Okay, we are back at the village, and I guess we just placed down the pop-up store or whatever? Okay, right-click? Ow! Guys, this place is really turning out to be uh, kind of like in real life. We have skyscrapers over there, we got a full-on suburbs, and now we have Mr. Beast Burger. I am guess you have a mission for me? Long time no see. Say, you happen to have any burger materials on hand. If you find any, I've been meaning to test out a new burger recipe. I think the other restaurants might have some. Wait, the other restaurants? So what exactly other restaurants am I supposed to go to to get these recipes? Because he needs a bun. Where can I get a bun at? Oh, my bad. Okay, I didn't realize that I didn't pick up one of the items and it was the Hell's Kitchen pop-up. So I guess let's go ahead and place that over here real quick. Uh, right there. Oh, there we go. Wait, Gordon Ramsay? Is, is, is this a boss we gotta fight? Oh, gosh. Um. Oh, my goodness. You dumb sandwich, get out of my restaurant. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. I, I do not have enough armor for this. We're fighting apparently the chefs of Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay himself. I, I did not expect to be doing this today. I thought we were just touching stuff and making them realistic, but we're doing this right now. Okay, burgers save me, but I'm out of burgers. This is the little final thing. And just like that, that's gonna be it for Gordon Ramsay. I'll leave my apron and go. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't we don't we we, we don't want to do that. Anyways, in the process, I think I picked up the cheese, the lettuce, the tomato, the bun, and the pickles. Did we, did we get the meat though? Oh, I think we gotta get the meat. Okay, uh, let's see. Where could I find that? Okay, I finally found it. We got the burger patty. We have every single part of the burger, all realistic items, which look very nice, very tasty. Let me know if you like burgers in the comments down below. And we also got Gordon Ramsay's spatula, which is, I guess, going to be our new weapon, better than an iron sword. It does pretty good damage, and wait, it, it shoots out food. Very realistic. We're going to go ahead and give these materials to Mr. Beast, and at the same time, of course, make everything realistic. All right, my man, I got you all the stuff you'll need. I got a lot of buns. There we go. We got the burger bun. We got the patty. And uh, there we go. Thanks, Nestor. Give it a try. Did I get the burger? Hey, he gave us a Mr. Beast. Burger, which is literally a PNG of a burger. You love to see it. Build restaurants challenge completed, and now we can eat this thing, and hopefully it gives us good food. Oh, kind of. I mean, our old burgers did a lot better, but we did get regen 2 resistance and fire resistance for a nice five minutes, so I guess I'll take it. Oh, wait, it's infinite. Okay, that's kind of cool. And so far, we actually now have two stacks of money, so I think it might be time, guys. Let's real quick. Minion whistle. Wait, this is the first time using this thing. Wait, what the heck just happened? Okay, I'm gonna ignore that. I, I did not like that. Let's call the market guy real quick. What's up, HDC? I actually can afford stuff now, so we can either buy the realistic pickaxe or the realistic sword. I'm gonna get the pickaxe just because I got Golden Ramsey spatula, but this does do 12.5 attack damage. That is crazy. We now have the, the realistic diamond pickaxe, which is really big. Uh, also, I think it has a right-click ability. Oh, I shoot a firework and it breaks stuff. Nice. Okay, so we're at 32% right now, and the next thing I get is at 35%. So I guess without further ado, let's real quick make as much area as we can into realism. Look at all that sand. Look at all that stone. There we go. We're at 34%. Let me actually grab the TNT. Completely forgot about that. And realism TNT. Oh, that is amazing. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's going to make us go 35 really quickly. And there we go. Okay. 35% done. And I found a realistic hand. Oh my gosh. Realistic hand. A helping hand. It couldn't hurt. What does this do though? Do I just slap a sheep? Oh. Um, okay. That worked, apparently. Does it do anything else? Like, right-click? Wait, what the heck? The hand is mining things. So, the ability of the hand is just to fall from the sky and turn things into realism. I mean, why not? Let's make this house realistic. Wait, so what if I combine these two? That's powerful. That is very powerful. The powers of the hands and the TNT together. We're up to 37% right now. 39? Okay, this is going so quick. What the heck? Oh, and there we go. Oh, that's an upgrade. Village realism upgraded again, and the city needs a force to protect it. Help collect materials for the project. Oh, wait, there's something right under me. 
Contractor Steve Summoner. Wait, what the heck is this? I guess we'll build it over here. Oh, hey, Contractor Steve with that very terrifying face. What the heck? My crew's only missing cobblestone and some iron blocks. Cobblestone first and foremost. Okay, so to get cobblestone, I think the best way is probably through mining. So I guess let's just get it the old fashioned way and cobblestone. Nice. Okay, there we go. And now he needs iron ingots. Did, do I have enough? I only have four. Okay, there, there you go. Four realistic iron ingots. Let's go mining real quick. Okay, so we still got to get a lot of iron, which I think this is the iron, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so don't mind if I do. Okay, I think we should have enough iron now. Let's real quick transform that when we touch it. There we go. Contractor Steve, get all the iron you ever need. And perfect. We'll get to work right away. Thanks for the help. Wait, what happens now? Ow! Well, there goes whatever was behind me before. And now we have Sergeant Steve. We will defend Ex Nesidio, no matter the threat. Especially since there was a talk of command about a Godzilla in these parts. If you come into any trouble, this will help. And he gave us a car key. The sergeant ended up giving us a tank key. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, we're literally in a tank. What the Oh my, wait, and we can make things realistic in the tank now. Oh, this is going to speed things up so much. This whole area right here, we're making it into realism. Oh, and we also got a realistic storm now. Do I just place it down? Ow! Oh my gosh. That's a tornado. That, that is definitely a tornado. And after that mini storm, we have a nice HD forest. Very nice. Oh, and we're actually pretty close to getting to 50%. I guess let me just walk through the forest real quick. Let's get to 50%. And there we go. Okay. Got a little bit more money and two pieces of paper. Looks like some mega corporations may come to the city if they get help building. Okay. We got an Amazon contract and a Tesla contract. I mean, why not? Let's try building it right here. Whoa. Uh, hello? Every single time I see this, like, why? Why is a thing. I'm sorry for trying to beat you up before, but let's put that behind us. Could you take this package to The Rock? He's eating at Hell's Kitchen right now. Oh, and I got an Amazon package. Addressed to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Give the package to The Rock. Let's, I guess, go back to the restaurant, which I don't really remember where the restaurant is, but I think it's this way. So let's real quick go up. Oh, we found it. Okay, so I just gotta give this to The Rock. Oh my gosh, he's literally inside of here flexing. Why is this a thing? Why could this just not be a normal video? Let's get rid of you real quick. And uh, here's your Amazon package. Package, Mr. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Well, why? Hey, thanks, Nestor. I just ordered that like five minutes ago. Same day shipping is insane, huh? Here's a tip. Ooh, okay. Wait, we can actually probably afford the sword now. Thank you very much, buddy. I do appreciate that. Let me call up the market man real quick, HDC, and uh, let's buy the realistic sword. Sharpness 10, graphics sharp enough to cut. Holy, this thing is huge. Wait, how do I use this thing, though? All right, Mr. Kelp, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry about this, but oh, gosh. <laughs> Gosh, don't really know what the point of that was. Anyways, we also have a Tesla contract. I guess we can add this to the city. Like I said, guys, the city is ginormous. We got the military. We got skyscrapers. Um, I guess I'll put it right here. And oh, Elon, I'm always looking to expand. My workers could use some granite and circuits. Okay, there's actually a lot of granites right there and circuits. I don't know what circuits are, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Let's get this HD granite real quick. And don't mind if I do. Like it, it feels so weird seeing everything being so high pixels and no low pixel at the same time. Okay, 32 granite, Mr. Elon. Here you go. I have all the granite you want. So weird just having him his real face look at me and now he needs 32 circuits which where do i get circuits oh wait no i think he might be talking about redstone itself okay so we just gotta get some redstone now i mean why not let's go all the way down realistic creeper of course and a realistic redstone which i'm gonna guess is gonna be the circuits unless i hold it and then it becomes circuits <gasps> oh that actually works what the heck okay let me grab as much as we can then and then get all the circuits we'll ever need more circuits why not and i think that should be enough yeah 33 okay let's Let's go back up. All right, Mr. Elon, got you your circuits. Here you go, buddy. Now, do you shoot up a rocket or something? Can't tell how happy I am for Tesla expanding to X next city. Well, time to get to work. Okay, um, did he give me a car or something? Car key. Is, is this what he gave me? And just like that, we get a literal Tesla Roadster, which I like a lot. Very nice. But we have a mission, and that's pretty much to make everything realistic. So let's real quick grab a bunch more TNT, make everything realistic that way. And also, we have the realistic can, which um, I still don't know what exactly it does but it does something cool. All right, back to the TNT. Go on, TNT. Make everything realistic. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so with that being done, not only is the sky very beautiful, but we also found a realistic meteorite. Wait, summons realism meteors? Did I just right-click this? Oh! Oh my... Okay, that is so exaggerated. What the heck? Oh, 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 they do damage. Oh my gosh, my computer. Okay, 56%. Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually converting the whole world into realism so quick. We're about to hit 60. And there we go. Realism upgraded. And what the heck just happened? Alert. Threat has been detected. Oh, all orders shall be given by Sergeant Steve. Okay, Sergeant Steve, is this you? Oh, that Godzilla talk wasn't talk after all. He's going to fight in the city. At Wait, what? Oh, it's only Godzilla. Oh, gosh. Um, boss fight time, I guess. I only have armor for pants. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, pants, pants, pants. Okay, we got realistic iron leggings, and that's all that's going for us. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Let's go. Wait, the sword too? 
get him. What? How does that even work? But either way, with that being done, we get the Godzilla sword, which is even better. Sharpness seven, a trophy roar. Um, what does this do? Oh, oh, it's like a little spitty attack. All right, 61%. And what we could do again, actually, just to get the next thing, let's get another meteorite. Oh gosh. Okay, 63%. We're getting somewhere. And there we go. Okay. And we got another tank, but does it do something different now? Oh wait, I figured it out. Okay, so we're now shooting with the tank and it literally just blows up stuff. So we're now up to 67%. So we're, so we're getting there. Literally, everything is going to be realistic. Everything I touch. No, I got stuck in the tank. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We're going to call in the meteorites. All right, one more percent. Hey, there we go. Okay, seems like Councilman Steve needs my help. Maybe I should wait for the storm to pass, but let's go figure out who Councilman Steve is. Wait, unless I got an item. Oh, I did. Councilman Steve Summoner. Place in the city. Oh, okay, right. And no better place than, than to place on the Councilman, I guess, right here. Hey, there we go. Okay, Nestor, the city's getting a bit cramped. Help expand the city with this fancy new device just point and click boom city wait am i now placing down cities realistic cities um city expander places a block more for the city and i gotta do this 10 times i guess why not let's just place one right here oh my what the heck that's just by placing it down once okay so i just keep placing down cities apparently what the heck i have like five cities right now all right well final one right here let's place it down and there we go expand the city challenge completed and oh gosh okay let's uh go back to good old realism and also wait i think we got something a realism nuke for all my larger explosive realism needs do we nuke the city no snitches okay oh gosh oh wait i literally just fire nukes it doesn't really make things realistic but it's a nuke well give me one sec guys i'm literally just gonna start touching everything and hopefully we can get to the next year pretty quickly don't mind me guys i am literally just brushing up on my obsidian also one thing i want to mention guys i didn't realize but i'm the fat subsidian miner like, look at that i don't even need a pickaxe anymore literally the fat subsidian miner right there boom we got all the obsidian we'll ever need and i feel like we're probably gonna need that in the future so let's real quick keep that there we go grabbing the obsidian okay 77 percent um realism nuke why not let's launch one right there and <laughs> Gosh. All right, down you go, guys. Boom, boom. Setting in the nukes. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I do that? Oh, diamonds. Wait, we finally found diamonds. Oh, my. Why did that take so long? Water bucket. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? That's insane. Well, there we go. We got diamonds. I haven't seen realistic diamonds just yet, so I'm kind of curious. Like, do I just hold it? Oh, that's amazing. And with that being done, I guess let's make the rest of this cave pretty much into just realism right now. I mean, we're doing a pretty good job, though. It's a little bit laggy. Let's go back up real quick. Okay, one more percent. We're almost there. Oh, and there we go. And man, that is beautiful. Seems like Councilman Steve needs my help again. Okay, I guess we're getting straight to it. We got some more money. I will gladly take the money. And now let's go ahead and talk to Councilman Steve, the White House Summoner. Place near the city. And Councilman Steve, X Nest Studio has gone so big it needs a capital building. Can you collect 32 diorite? Um, sure. Where do I get diorite though? Oh, okay. I think I found some in the actual city. I think it's the white stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay, so some realistic diorite. Let's go. And grab 32 of this thing, and we're gonna just steal it from the buildings. Oh, there's a lot of it inside of here. Holy. All right, Mr. Councilman, here you go. Take all the die right you need. And oh my, look at that beautiful building. Now we simply need a president. You're our founder. You need to choose. Do I choose one of these YouTubers to be a president? Okay, wait. So who do I pick as a YouTuber then? We have uh Green, Mumble Jumbo, Steve, Crafty, Captain Sparkle, Technoblade, Bionic, Tommy in it. I mean, Tommy in it has a suit. That could be someone. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys would pick in this room right now. Because it's it's a realism video. Mr. Beast having the realistic face. I, I think it's a must. Let's pick him. There we go. Mr. President Beast. I'm honored you chose me, although I don't think the others are too happy. Oh, okay. That's all good. That's all good at all. We got the presidential key, but I don't know what that does, but we gotta fight these guys now. Okay. Desperate times calls for the Gordon Ramsay thing. Oh gosh. Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You're all great YouTubers, but we gotta get rid of you guys. Well then. Nice. Anyways, we got a president and a presidential key, which bestows the rank of president to whoever's given to. Did I just steal the key from Mr. Beast? Did I just go Mr. Beast? Am I the president of my own city now? I mean, why not? We'll go with it. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just running around in my Ferrari trying to get this percentage bar up. We're at 81%, but I feel like it's getting harder as we go up, so it's taking definitely a lot longer than I thought. Let me get off the car now, and I think the probably the easiest way to get to the next thing is let's go get some more meteors. Oh gosh, oh gosh, here they come. On the bright side, 83%. We're getting there. Oh, there we go. Okay, 
85% find me, and it's a literal ball. Real as a moon. For one explosives, don't cover it. So do I just right click this? I think that's it. Oh, did it just drop and do nothing? Okay, wait, what if we drop it right there? Oh, oh, never mind. It does do something. And that was very powerful. Okay, so we just need one more percent. I might as well make all the bedrock into realism, and then we should be good. Might as well bring out the laser one more time. Get that percentage up real quick, and there we go. Okay, my city has made a space program, but needs some more funding. Wait, are we going to space? Or never mind. Wait, we dropped an item. A NASA scientist summoner. Let's go up real quick. Let's go ahead and place down this NASA scientist summoner right here. And what do we get with this? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Nestor. I'm in charge of Exodus Studios NASA program. I'm afraid I need a list of materials if you can get them for me. Okay, uh, Steve, I got you. You're a NASA scientist. Um, let me get you your circuits. I actually already have some circuits, which is not that much, but probably a lot of them down here. So I'm going to go down here real quick. Okay, let's get all the redstone we can right now. All right, Mr. Scientist, there you go. And great. Now iron ingots. Okay, NASA scientist, here you go. Take all of that. And now we just got to get some diamonds. Okay, so the diamonds, how am I missing? literally one. Are you serious? Okay, have the diamonds and never again. Oh, wow. That was actually really easy. There's a diamond right here. All right, scientists. I got you the diamond and now we need some coal. Wait, it said blaze rods, but we're getting coal. I guess maybe realistic coal looks like a blaze rod. I don't know. Take the coal though. Now all that's left is obsidian. Okay, I actually got exactly how much you need now. Oh, wow. Okay, there you go. Obsidian. Perfect. I think we're ready for launch then. Get into the rocket whenever you're ready. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's literally the Ferrari thing besides a rocket. All right, let's get on this rocket. Oh, whoa, it's carrying me. Up we go, I guess. Oh, it faded. Infinity Gauntlet? Wait, what? Do you think you have what it takes to defeat me? Is this a final battle? Okay, we're fighting two HD Steves, apparently. With an Infinity Gauntlet, this makes zero sense, but okay. Okay, we got one down. Let's get the other one now. Fine, if you want to get out of here, you're gonna have to defeat my final form. Wait, that wasn't the final boss? Guys, I am so confused right now. Oh, the unleashed HD Steve is literally just a dragon. Is that an HD dragon or just a normal dragon? I don't even know, but we killed it in three lasers. What just happened? All we got was this teleporter and we're still 5% missing. I guess I'll just right-click this. Is this gonna be it? Ooh, put on your final realism glasses. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Challenge complete. World equals real. And with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one and here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.